Oh my... Oh, there we go, ladies and gentlemen. We're here. We've done it. We're actually live, goddammit. It's here. It's the goddamn birthday stream. We've hit 420 likes. And you know what that means? That means it's birthday, so welcome. And yes, I'm late. Okay, don't judge me. And I'm receiving a phone call from my mortgage advisor right as I go live. This is brilliant. Um, <laughs> what a busy day it is. What an absolutely incredibly busy day. I hope you're all having a lovely time in chat. How are you all doing? I'm late. I'm not late, okay? It's happy birthday day. Very happy birthday day. Mm-hmm. Hope you're enjoying it. <laughs> oh. So, of course, as you may all know, or may not know, today is a very special day in the history of the Spiftopian universe. Today is my birthday. Okay, I am, I think I'm, what, I must be about 174 years old now, um, so it's a good birthday, uh, and so consequently with every birthday, a celebration must be had. And for such a celebration, we're of course playing RimWorld, where I will be taking the players from chat, throwing them into the world of RimWorld, and just absolutely harvesting their organs, melting them down, turning them into cake, you name it, we've got all the mods you could possibly need to set up not only a tea plantation run by slaves, but also a incredible cake, well, a human to cake machine. Yeah, I know. Basically, someone made a whole bunch of custom mods which allow us to not only convert people into cakes, but also convert human beings into tea. It's amazing what you can do with enough mods and craziness and probably some mental health issues. So yes, we're going to have an absolutely incredible day today and a glorious birthday. So strap yourselves in, give the stream a like, pat yourselves on the back, because we're about to dive into this, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, what a lovely day it's going to be. This is, of course, a live stream, meaning there is no editing. It's all going to be absolutely insane, but most importantly, it's fantastic. Oh, look at that. I know how to sync up music and talking. I'm so good. Now to put on the uh, more classic relaxation station, yes. As we can now settle ourselves in for what is going to be several hours of RimWorld. Mm -hmm. Anyway, now that chat has calmed down a bit, at least I think it has, um, considering the chat was spamming happy birthday about a million times. Yes, it's good to have the chat back. So what is the plan today, chat? The plan is very simple. We're going to set up a colony, get some colonists, and what we're going to do is we're then going to get the colonists to fight amongst each other. Well, not fight amongst each other, probably more fight off the endless waves of monsters attacking them and then enslave those monsters and uh, get them to basically grow tea for us. So that's what we're going to do. It's going to be fantastic. What's that? Someone in chat wants to be a cake? Don't worry. Using modding, we have now found a way. Those boffins at Spivco have found a way to convert the human body into cake very highly edible cake which everyone loves to eat it might turn them mad it might give them superpowers but all we know is that human cake is the tastiest cake oh my goodness right so let's start a brand new colony and you know we might as well go for the uh, classic crash landed start mm. what are we going for randy random i do like randy random he is always good fun it is always a wild ride with Randy Random. Cassandra Classic is great, but, um, you know, Randy Random, that's where it's at. It's really where it's at. Oh, and of course, we'll do reload any time. That's good. That's what we like. What's the seed do we want? We don't want stream. It's birthday. Birthday seed. That's what we want. Oh, look at that. Lovely. Bam. These are all of the mods, by the way. We got Prisoner Capture, Locks, Increased Stack, Birds and Bees. Uh, Birds and Bees is a mod which basically allows me to remove um, certain gentlemanly organs uh, from just about everyone. <laughs> what this means is, if you start failing to collect the potato harvest on time, chat, okay, if you end up being a character and you start failing to do what I require you to do, I will remove your abilities to do basic human functions, okay? It will happen. It will happen. Now, there's a nice spot here, I've noticed, which is kind of like, it's got a mountain, it's got some stone roads and some dirt roads. It's close to some people who hate us and close to some people who don't particularly care for us. So this seems like a great spot to be. I quite like this. Yeah, it's good. Oh, that's a lovely spot. Ah. Uh. 
so you know what? I think it's time we set up this colony. Bam. Next. Oh no, this is this is where things are gonna get complicated because we need to prepare carefully. We need to create our colonists and they're gonna be fantastic. Immediately, the first colonist, um, I have no idea how we're gonna do this, but it is one cooler guy. Nope, that doesn't work. Instead, we're gonna have cooler guy. Very good. Uh, so thank you very much, cooler guy. Um, you donated 200 Australian dollars to say, ah oh, yes, RimWorld, aka Space Australia, my favorite space vacation location. Uh, space vacation location <laughs> already reminds me of home. Well, welcome, cooler guy. Um, you're gonna love it. I'm noticing immediately you are aesthetic. We, we can't have that. You're body purist? Okay, we can have that. But instead, I want to make you a cannibal. Um, just because it, that's part of it, cooler guy. Um, I should probably also make you a guy. Actually, no. No, we can have you be a, we can have you be a lovely woman. Um, one cooler guy. There we go. Perfect. Look at that. Absolutely beautiful. Now, one cooler guy immediately, apparently they've got great artistic skills. So we'll crank up their artistic stats and their intellectual stats as well as their melee stats. And we'll have them be a, we'll have them be a punch person. That's what they can do. A left hand hand talon. What the heck is a hand talon? Is that like a, a replacement hand? Something tells me as a body purist they wouldn't be happy with that. So let's remove that garbage and instead install um, something insane. Like say, oh yeah, it is some, it is, yeah, it's a hand talon. Like a mind screw. <laughs> what the heck is a mind screw? A love enhancer. Wow, a knee spike? What the heck are some of these? I haven't even seen some of these before. These are mental. A nuclear stomach. Okay, we're adding the nuclear stomach. Uh, removing body purists, otherwise they'd go absolutely insane. Um, let's just make them under a fast walker instead. But oh my god, right. There you go. Cooler guy, you have a nuclear stomach. <laughs> I have no idea what that's going to actually result in, but good job. Welcome to the crew. Next up, we have Autumn Sicaris. Hello, Autumn. Nice to have you around, you lovely friend. Um, Autumn care. Oh, well, you're just going to have to be Autumn. Sorry, Autumn. Uh, Autumn Sicarius. Let's add you in. Now, of course, we're all about... Um, I always spell your name wrong, don't I? Yeah, I do. Bam. Now, of course, we're all about relaxing lovely times here. Um, immediately, I'm going to remove Autumn being sickly, or he'll be dead instantly. Um, he can be physically... Well, psychically deaf. So there we go, Autumn. You no longer have... Like, there's nothing going on inside your brain. I'm sorry, you are effectively walking brain dead. But that's fine, Autumn. You know, it, if it works for you, it works for you. Now, you're probably going to be our mining dude because you look absolutely bulky as heck. And you can probably have some plant stuff and some punch stuff and some shooting. There we go. But yeah, we'll mostly just have you kitted out for mining. You're going to be great. So you're a scout and a jailbird. Lovely stuff. Right, and finally... Well, actually, not even finally because I'd, li I'd like to have a colony of four people. We're not going to have Veronica Erickson. No, no, no. Instead, we're going to have Steve Jones. Steve Jones. Okay, instead, it's going to be Steve Joan. Yeah, there we go. Steve and Jones. And apparently, you're going to be a 47-year-old woman going through menopause, Steve. Um, uh, <laughs> so I forgot to read out Autumn's donation, which was, Happy birthday, Smith. Here's for more years of good health and success. For you and your family, cheers. Thanks, Autumn. That's a lovely message. But Steve Jones donated to say, Happy birthday, Spiff. Please ensure to add alcoholic additives to your Yorkshire Tea Gold. Of course, it's a birthday. We add gin to our Yorkshire Tea Gold. Now, you're a 47 year old woman who is chronologically, okay, 669 years old. So, what this means is they've spent over 600, well, almost 600 years in, well, yeah, no, over 600 years in hypersleep. So, this person has lived for an exceedingly long time, basically on ice. Um, so <laughs> they're a psychopath, and they um, they dislike men, and they have really creepy breathing. <laughs> Steve Jones, I love this. I feel like there's there's more things I can add to you. I feel like you're a, you're a blank slate, and there's things which which just need to be added. I think you're also, for the sake of it, you're also going to be ugly. I'm sure you're beautiful in the real world, but I'm just... You're a psychopath with creepy breathing. I just think the ugliness adds a little piece de la resistance to your character arc. 
Um, in return, we'll make you the crafter and the cooker of the group, as well as you can probably have some plant skills. There we go. And that is just, oh, you are looking absolutely perfect. Oh, you are beautiful. And then, you know, we might as well add in a, um, we'll add in someone who has a bit of experience. We'll add in a noble. Oh, yes, a noble. Fantastic. Uh, a noble who has Alzheimer's. <laughs> <laughs> and is also going through menopause, but they're a guy. <laughs> I love this game. There's nothing really like this. There's just nothing quite like this game. Oh, who is going to be our 54-year-old <laughs> noble medic <laughs> who has Alzheimer's? He's effectively like a grandpa who you have to lure around effectively a terrible hellscape. Um, oh my god. I love this game. I really do. Oh, we're going to go for um, Wesley Van. Wesley Van, thank you, my friend. Actually, wait, no. A donation came in before then. It was from Wusty. Oh, very well. Wusty, no longer are you the jester. You are now the noble. Wusty Sauce. Good job. So you were a shipbound lord link, and then you became an infantry medic. But we're going to make you very good at socialness and very good at intellect. Um, and also, you know what? You can be a, a shootman. Um, but you're a jogger, okay? You're beautiful. An undergrounder? No, no, we're not having you be an undergrounder. Instead, we're having you be... Um, I want to say greedy, considering you are some kind of Alzheimer's-ridden noble. So that makes sense in my mind. Canonically, it makes perfect sense. <laughs> Wusty has been ennobled. Yes, he has become a noble. It's truly amazing. Absolutely amazing. It's, it's truly enlightening what you can do in the world of RimWorld. You can become anything and be anyone. Now, these are some world characters who we're basically going to run into. And I'll basically um, speed through these guys. Uh, basically, we might run into them, we might not. So we've got Juan R here, um, who has an artery blockage and is a wimp body purist. So that's perfect. And they're probably going to rock up onto our colony at one time. Uh, then we've got Tyler Roman. Thank you very much, Tyler Roman. Let's call you... Tyler, actually no, I think Roman works better. Roman, Roman T, I like that. Psychically dull, you're too smart and you're lazy. Um, and you're also absolutely addicted to drugs. So that's perfect. Um, why, why is everyone a woman who's joining our colony? Worsty, you must be some kind of mega seducer. Um, then we've got Gagalord. Gagalord, who is a frightened child, a builder who's... Nervous and greedy. No, we can't have two greedy people. You are going to be... Um, you're going to be a hard worker. There we go. That's what you're going to be, Gaga Lord. And then we've got Wesley Van. Wesley Van. There we go. Wesley Van. You're going to be a shop kid. You're going to be a paramedic. Gorman, nervous, fast walker. Perfect. What a, what a combo. Absolutely perfect. And we've got... What's this? Suka Bazooka? Now that is quite a fun name. I like that. Suka Bazooka. Mm. Oh no, you're just going to be Suka Bazoo. Anyway, you're a teetotaler, fast walker, and you're a cult child, so that's perfect. Evidently you've watched enough Spiffing Broke videos. Um, and I feel like we need one preemptive garden slave, uh, like tea slave off of the bat, so... Um, yeah, I'm going to find um, a, a villager from the Civil Outlander Union. Um, and this is just going to be our tea slave, so I'm going to make him quite young. Um, there we go, an 18-year-old tea slave. Um, and you are going to be called Dark Hunt. <laughs> Look, I know you donated 20 euros, um, but you've rolled tea slave, okay? Which is truly, it, it's what everyone wants to be when they grow up. Everyone wants to be a tea slave. So we're going to make you a, a clone farmer. Is clone farmer? No, probably not a clone farmer. That's the wrong kind. Crop farmer. There we go. You're a crop farmer. We're going to max out your plant stat. So basically, you grew up in a coma, and then you became a crop farmer. You love chemicals. You're a slow learner, and you're staggeringly ugly. Honestly, Dark Count, this is what I like to describe as the perfect tea farmer. Okay? You're happy to be a tea sleep. Good. It's nice to see you in chat supporting my um, directionary push for you to become a tea slave. Oh god. Alright, what relationships do we have? Because there's some... Juan R and Wesley Van are apparently siblings, but we haven't found them yet. Um, 
what, what do we want to actually add? Okay, apparently we're going to have a male Labrador Retriever. Is that true? Were there other animals which I prefer? Is there a, um... Is there a Corgi? Is there a... There's a Yorkshire Terrier. Hmm. There is no Corgi. There is just a Cougar and a Cobra and a Chinchilla and a Chicken. No, we'll have the Labrador Retriever. That is how we will do it. Okay, what are we going to need? We're going to need more food because we've got more people starting with us. We're going to need more medicine because we're harvesting organs. Uh, we could probably also do with a second revolver and a bit of extra wood and steel would be great. So let's give ourselves 500 wood and 600 steel and that is looking great. Oh my goodness. This is great. Let's drop down and start. I think I'm ready. Confirm. Oh, so now we're generating our map. Happy birthday. Thank you, chat. Mm -hmm. oh, what is this? So is this. The three of you awake in your crow sleep sarcophagi. The three of us? Hang on a second. There's five of us. <laughs> Sometime later, you land on this unknown rim world. As pieces of the shredded starship fall around you, you make your plans to survive. So welcome. Here come our first adventurers. We've got... Cooler Guy, Dark Hound, Autumn, Woosty, and Steve Jones. Wow. And a dog that wants to be called Longneck. No, you do not want to be called Longneck. You want to be named after the generous sausage who just gave a very generous donation. You are now called... Where is your name? Where is your name? Here it is. Bam. Longneck, you have now become... Um, do do do. Zips. Zips the dog. Zips the dog. There we go. Welcome, Zips, uh, to the colony. Um, you can die as a dog. I do try and save the animals, but honestly, it's a spiffing brip video slash live stream. Nothing is safe. Absolutely nothing. Oh, there we go. Right, let's just unforbid everything and take a look at what kind of world we're in. So we've got some nice, like, abandoned structures over there, some abandoned structures over here. Um, more, this is kind of like the stone road, which then becomes a dirt road leading this way, which I think is quite cute. I do like a couple of dirt roads. In terms of actual defensive areas, um, there isn't really one. <laughs> it's not like a nice, easy choke point to manage. I suppose this is a bit of a choke point, but it's too close to the edge for my liking. I think instead we might be, I suppose we could redo up this building here and use it as our base, and then we could rebuild this building as well, and then... I mean, most of the foundations are there, so it doesn't seem, you know, impossible. Oh, maybe this is it. This is probably it. Let's get this done. I mean, we can't build down here. There's definitely something creepy happening there, chat. So, what we want to do, claim all of this, and then, where else is it? So we do claim, and then select all of these walls, and then we're going to want to chop wood, all these trees, we're going to want to cut plants, all of these plants and then we're going to want to start building a nice wooden structure so I want a wall here and a wall here some walls here and then get a nice wall going here here and here go all the way across there we go lovely stuff look at that now we've got a nice big base set up next to some kind of creepy looking sarcophagus okay that couldn't possibly go wrong everyone's gonna love sleeping next to the creepy sarcophagus okay it's it's good and we'll even reinstall this limestone urn in the room to make it more beautiful so people won't get sassy right claim reinstall bam look i'm a benevolent king i know how to make my people happy they like massive sarcophagus urns all right and then the other thing we're going to need is a storage zone which, honestly, I mean, where could we... We could slap it down quite nicely here, I feel. I feel like this is a good storage area where we'll just have just about everything. And of course, all storage areas, ladies and gentlemen, must have a roof. Uh, storage areas without a roof will see everything die, um, which is an issue. Bam, there we go. Look at this. Oh, it's all off to a flying start. Fantastic flying start. Happy birthday, Spiff, you muddy leaf water drinker. We all know how burnt, how that burnt bean mud is the way to go. The burnt bean mud is not the way to go, Drew Cater. Not at all. Not at all. Thank you, Cal Queen, as well. Uh, 25 quid to your favourite Brit. Oh, it's nice to be someone's favourite Brit. You know, we should probably also add in a, uh, a door. Otherwise, this is going to be a bit of a faff. So, uh, how do I rotate again? I don't need to rotate. It just slaps on down in, of course. Of course. 
Then we're going to need some sleeping spots for everyone. So sleeping spots for everyone, excluding of course Wusty, who's going to get a, a nice wooden bed right at the head of them all. So he can kind of look down whilst he's, whilst he's trying to sleep and observe all of his lovely subjects. And then of course the animal sleeping spot, perfect. Now in terms of work, uh, for the time being, we're going to need probably more than just one person on construction, um, as that would take us for literal ever. Uh, we can have Worsty be quite high on the uh, hunting and maximum on the research. No one else needs to do researching. Worsty, however, will not clean. We can have uh, the, the tea slave clean. The tea slave will also maximize plant cut and growth. What is this? Entertainment. Oh, we have an... Okay, I see. So we actually have people who can entertain. And then Worsty will also be the warden. Um, yeah, this is looking good. You guys don't particularly need to do as much. You definitely need to be our miner. Um, you can do plant cutting as well. You need to be our artist. You need to be our crafter. And also our tailor and our smith. There we go. Perfect. Oh, isn't this just great? We're off to a flying start already, ladies and gentlemen. This colony is going to be absolutely beautiful. Now, of course, we're we're nearing a minor break risk with Worsty. You might wonder why. Um, well, he wants to do a throne speech and make everyone happy. He has a 4.2% chance of doing a terrible speech. <laughs> but yes, he can do he can do speeches which make people excited. The only sad, well, the only issue is he's eating without a table. He feels sick apparently. I am noticing that he is technically vomiting all over the floor right now. Um, yeah, but he's vomiting whilst trying to build a roof. Worsty, I'd prefer if you did not throw up all over the floor. Um, that would be great, please. Oh god, some people. You just, they just want to vomit everywhere. It's such a faff. Such an absolute faff to work with. Ah, anyway. Happy birthday, you handsome sausage. Thank you very much, Icy, for the 7,500 isk. That's a very generous donation. I'll try and get you, uh, try and get you down into the colony as soon as I can. Right, you know, I think Worsty needs to probably grab that gun, um, because he's, I'm pretty sure, our best shooter. Or at least, if he's not, he probably should be. Yeah, he's got a good shooting score. He'll be able to murder just about everything. Good stuff. Oh, we're off to a flying start. Hmm. Bottle up the royal vomit and sell it. We're not bottling up Worsty's royal vomit and selling it to people. Or maybe we should. Maybe that is... Oh, I like your ideas now, chat. We're going places. We're going places with these ideas. We're thinking like business people. Okay. Right, can we get these uh, get these walls built so that people actually have a roof over their head? Well, they have a roof over their head, but a roof has collapsed due to lack of support. That's fine. Oh, is this one here. Uh, right, and what else? We're going to need a torch lamp in here, else otherwise people are going to be annoying. Well, annoyed. Um, we could get a meditation throne and a brazier. Oh, there's so many lovely... Lovely additions that this mod comes with. But I realise also, most importantly, we need to get set up nice and early on some growing zones where we can grow plants. And there's areas over here where I'm pretty sure fertility is higher. So I want to... Oh, wait, no, it's not. It's not. I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. Let's delete that. Instead, we're going to slap down our growing zone. Hmm. I think in this area here is where we could potentially keep, uh, like, the tea slaves. We could fence them in. Um, so let's have a nice 10 by 10 growing zone of, you guessed it ladies and gentlemen, tea plants. And then along with the tea plants, we also need the next greatest crop, the potato plant, um, which can go right next door to it. Perfect. So Dark is immediately going to start doing all of that. We haven't technically converted him into a slave yet, but it can be done at a moment's notice, um, which is great. The other things we'll need is we'll need to put up a fence around him. Um, and then we'll also need to build a separate sleeping area for him as well. So if I've ever tried Yorkshire tea breakfast, I have tried it. It's quite nice. It is very, very tasty. Very enjoyable. What is this? Are you meditating? Autumn is meditating. Is that making you feel happier or something? Because I don't know why you should be feeling happy. This is a sad moment. Okay, you've just crash landed. All of your friends are probably dead. Anyway, let's get some horseshoe pins down, because everyone loves horseshoe pins. Steve Jones is also meditating. This isn't the time for meditation. I'm going to draft and undraft you. 
Get back to hauling wood for the horseshoes, okay? It's almost time for mandatory fun. We need those horseshoes. Jeez, some people just don't understand. We could probably also do a wooden wall there, otherwise it's just going to drive me mad. Oh, now Dark Count is doing a great job. He's planting all of the tea. 11 out of 10. As soon as we move you into your separate sleeping quarters, you're just going to power through all of this crop growth. It's going to be beautiful. Really will. But let's deconstruct this granite column. These are all limestone walls, so logically if we deconstruct these limestone statues we will gain access to the limestone necessary in order to um you know actually repair these walls what is this Wusty is playing horseshoes with dark out and cooler guy everyone is playing horseshoes ah oh, now everyone's going to be happy excluding Wusty, who is still mind-numbingly sad <laughs> why are you uncomfortable you want to you want somewhere soft to sit on fine i'll build you a wooden chair a wooden chair and let's get a table built with some nice dining chairs okay some lovely dining chairs for everyone look at that free whole dining chairs uh, exploit kill friendly factions then give some of their loot back to them with transport pods uh become allies kill them for backup kill backup and repeat um, yeah, I've actually done that before. It's a really fun little exploit, Jacob. Um, it, there used to also be another exploit, which was you could murder... Like, you could summon two factions which were at war with each other at the same time. So you could summon one faction to trade, and then you could summon the second faction to trade, and they'd arrive in, in like, your camp, and they'd just murder each other. And you'd get all of the goods from them, and you'd also not get any, like, relation impact, which was brilliant. And you could even actually heal up the uh, the fallen people and release them, and that made everyone happy. I know it's it, Rimworld is a very quirky game with some unique exploits. Yeah, that might no longer work though. You're right. Let me quickly tab in and out. Though. Lovely, good stuff. Good stuff. Uh, I mean, it's just beautiful watching our lovely guys haul all of the necessary components back. Oh. They're doing a great job. And soon we'll have our lovely sitting area. Have we even had our first... No, we haven't had our first night's sleep. We're getting close to it now. It's going to be a lovely first night's sleep. We need to make sure to set the owner for the bed to be um, Wusty. Otherwise he will get very upset. And how is this? How is this actual room in terms of quality? I remember there is a way I can see how... Um, Oh, this is the fertility overlay. Okay, that's pretty interesting. And then, where is the uh, the beauty display? Okay, this isn't a very beautiful area. I remember there used to be a way to um, a way to see. I'm a melon though. I'm pretty sure it's when you click on a room or something. Yeah, it's when you click on a room. There we go. Slightly impressive, somewhat rich. So this should make Wusty somewhat happy now that he has a kind of fancy bedroom. But the issue is because he's greedy, he wants an impressive bedroom which no one else has access to. So we'll have to do that. Oh, he's happy because a cute animal nuzzled him. Zips the dog has made Wusty happy. Wusty's only enjoyment so far today. <laughs> oh, they made it so you lose rep for people dying in your colony now? Yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. Doo -doo -doo. Oh, look at these lovely... We've got a nice first base. That's a really good first night. Wusty, Zips, Steve Jones, Autumn, Dark Hound. We've got one cooler guy also set up. Probably needs to grab himself a gun. Oh. But we're, we're off to a flying start. All we need to do next is start building actual physical bedrooms for people to enjoy and sleep in. And then also setting up a nice defensive area so that we can't get raided by monsters and scary things. Alright, you know what? I'm pretty sure we could convert this area down here into being the, um, the, you know, the worker housing. Um, and if we deconstruct this steel door as well, um, and then build a wooden wall, not across the uh, steam geyser, but just a little bit down it. There we go. Perfect. Oh, look at this. This is perfect. And then all we need to do is build a little wall here and here, and then they're blocked off from escaping that way. 
and then we just need to build a wall from here over to here and they're blocked off from escaping that way and then a wall here and here and then one here and one here awesome and we've successfully created a nice trapped area for all of our workers oh i'm brilliant what is rim this is rimworld rimworld is a indie game where you basically have to manage a colony keep all of your dudes alive and the aim is to try and escape off of the planet uh, you will probably not escape off of the planet you'll probably survive um, maybe your first winter just as all of your men uh, basically die to the cold um, it's a real issue um, and there, there are many random events which will screw you over and basically see that all of your people die um, yeah, it's just one of those brilliant games where everyone dies and nobody survives. Truly, truly a marvel. Now, one thing we probably want to do is temporarily increase um, the importance of hauling. Uh, so I'll get Cooler Guy to basically just be the hauler for basically the rest of the day. One Cooler Guy says, as the Aussie, you've got to give me a, give me the knife. It's tradition. You know what, you've got you've got the abilities to use that knife, and you're wearing the only piece of armor we have, so go grab yourself that knife. Uh, we'll have Steve Jones, well Steve Jones can pick up the revolver, and then Autumn can grab the other revolver. Perfect. Ah, oh, lovely. What a great colony we've got going. What happened to Weekly Minecraft? Weekly Minecraft turned into bi-weekly Minecraft, um, because it is very stressful to do every single week. It's a huge amount of work for myself and all of my team, so we kind of have to take it quite slow, otherwise we burn ourselves out very, very, very quickly. Um, so yeah, that's, uh, that's what we're doing. Oh, he can walk over there. Brilliant. Okay. Well, that needs to be fixed. Let's uh, get a wooden door there, and let's also deconstruct this then. Well, this deconstructed and claimed. Same for this. Claim and deconstruct. But we've got a nice walled off area here where we can uh, probably build a... I mean, this looks like it would be a house for maybe um, uh, Worsty. This looks like a royal throne area. And it makes much more sense to kind of just put the um, the quarters for uh, Dark Count to just be this tiny cupboard here in the corner. Uh, <laughs> and just have him work there instead. I'll also add another wall there just to make sure that it's properly blocked off. And then we can get a wooden wall here and here. Lovely stuff. Look at that. Oh, we're going to grow so many crops in here. This is going to be lovely. Seeing as uh, Dark Count has actually managed to plant as many crops as he, he feasibly can, we're going to probably need to start maybe getting some more growing zones. We can get a growing zone there and a growing zone here. Uh, that one can be potato, but this one could probably be... We could have strawberries, that would be fun, but no, instead we'll have we'll have rice plants. Everyone loves rice plants. They grow very quickly. Free colonists idle? Oh, that's not good at all. That's not good. Instead, let's get them making some power, okay? I want wind turbines, and the wind turbines are going to kind of blow a nice cool breeze onto all of our crops. Or at least that's the logic I like to look at it as. So there we go. Wind turbines onto the crops. They're going to love it. We're just going to kind of like give these tea plants extra wind and that will empower the tea plants now, i realize we probably need to get a research bench down because do we start out with batteries no we don't start out with batteries and that is terrible you need batteries so um let me quickly get in production i'm pretty sure it is yep simple research bench and let's just plonk that down in here there we go nice simple research bench Bus 62, thank you very much for $100. I'm supporting your channel while drinking coffee. My birthday gift is cognitive dis <laughs> dissonance. <laughs> Thanks, Bus 62. I'll use your $100 that you've been using to drink coffee with and I'll uh, I'll convert it into uh, a natural nice beverage like tea. Okay, that's what I'll do with your $100. We're going to be drinking tea and it's going to be good. Real good tea. Mmm. Oh my goodness, thank you very much, the 6,000, well, almost 6,000 people who see themselves, well, who have arrived here. It's absolutely lovely to have you with us. And of course, thank you very much to the 1,670 people who've liked the stream. Pat yourselves on the back, you lovely sausages. Thank you very much. Right, now what else are we going to do? Well, I think we could probably do with getting, I'm going to say Wusty's bed set up. If we could set up Wusty's bedroom 
and we make it nice and fancy. I think we keep it kind of simple at first and just have him use this space here. And we can give him a nice floor as well, um, which is under floors. There we go. Let's add in some wood tiles here and some wood tiles here and some wood tiles here. Look at that. That's gonna be a lovely little sleeping area for him. It's not too big and it has room to expand, which is all that matters, I think. Some nice expansive areas. Thank you, uh, Sundway Man, uh, for your ten dollars. How much yorkshire tea do I need to consume to become as to become as half as spiffy as me? Um, a lot. Um, I can't even express the amount necessary of yorkshire tea. Um, it is quite incredible. We've got a steel table. I I did notice. So I'll quickly move that in here. That's going to be ours. And thank you very much, Michael Cohen, for the 10 Australian dollars. Happy birthday, Spiff. Hope you enjoy yourself during and after this stream. Yeah, I will. I've got some fun plans today. I've got a, I'm joining Twitch for a, um, it's, what is it? It's like a virtual pub quiz, which I find to be quite entertaining because I am effectively, um, a, well, I'm not a Twitch streamer, am I? I don't stream on Twitch, um, so it doesn't particularly make sense. <laughs> but it's fun nonetheless. All right, let's get a battery down there and what else can we do? I feel like we need to get more we need to get another bedroom set up for um, uh, For dark house, so let's get a sleeping spot in here and let's set this for um, Which how do I do this again? I remember Where is it? Is it under zones? Um no, it's not in the zones. Anyway, I'm pretty sure we need to call a guy to basically uh, arrest Dark Hound. Um, no reachable unresolved prisoner bed. Right, there we go. Let's make that for prisoners. Um, the Dark Hound is currently building something. Uh, so now we will arrest Dark Hound, drop him off inside the prisoner bed. Lovely. And now we're going to want to convert him into a, into a slave. So yes, that's what we're going to do. <laughs> Uh, what's this? Resistance remaining $20. Okay, so we're going to need to reduce resistance. That's fine. We've got Worcester. He's very good at reducing resistance. Now, was it necessary to convert one of my perfectly working pops into a slave? Some would say no, but I would actually argue yes. Very necessary. Because it's very fun. Okay, now this needs to be uh, Worcester's bed. And what's this? Mediocre bedroom? Yeah, we can improve it. Let's improve it by adding... These limestone urns, um, that'll make it a nicer room. Um, that should really kind of like spruce it up a bit for him. And then in terms of other furniture, we can add in a an end table. That'll probably make him quite happy. Everyone loves an end table. Um, and then we should probably also get on with actually building bedrooms for everyone else in the colony, I realize. Um, <laughs> that would probably be a good idea. So let's uh, let's build everyone else's bedrooms over here. It can be near cooler guy. We can have one bedroom here. We can have one bedroom here. And then if we mine through here, we can have another bedroom. Perfect. Everyone can have a three by three bedroom. It's a cramped bedroom, but it'll do. Right, I want door there, door there, and a door there. Perfect. Human rights violation plus one. Oh yes, you're right. We need to increase the human rights violation counter. Um, it's an exceedingly high budget counter, which I actually have to right click here and um, hit eight. Okay, that's what I have to do. I have to go into Streamlabs every time I need to increase the human rights violation. So yep, that was that's correct. First human rights violation, unlawful arrest of Dark Out, the farmer. Um, he did nothing wrong, but I will have it marked in the history books that he was a political dissident and so consequently needed to be stopped. Anyway, let's get everyone a wooden bed. So I want a wooden bed here, here, and here. And we're also going to need to cut down some trees. So let's chop wood. All of these trees here need to go. They all need to go. Um, and we can also harvest. I'm pretty sure there's a whole bunch of berry bushes lying around. Berry bushes, great source of early game food. Um, oh, we need a research project. We've researched batteries already. Nice. That's brilliant. Okay, let's store this power somewhere. Let's uh, store it here, next to the stone, that way it won't, um, you know, explode too much. And let's build a roof over it as well. Um, perfect, look at that. Oh, we're getting, we're getting so fancy now. So fancy. 
Move Zips the dog to Worsty. Oh, you're right. Yes, let's do that. We need to move the dog over to Worsty. Worsty would love to have the dog sleep with him. The dog is not allowed for anyone else. How's Worsty's bedroom? Still mediocre. We gave him his little pottery urns. Look at those limestone urns. They're brilliant. 11 out of 10. Best limestone urns in the world. What's up with you? Blocked by roof. Oh, beans. I need to remove the roof. Uh, zone. Ignore. No. Remove roof area. Yes. Go away, roof. Bad roof. Very bad. Alright, how's your resistance looking? Still at 16.4 resistance. That's good. As soon as that resistance breaks, we're going to be able to convert him into a, um, uh, a tea farmer in no time. He's going to do great. Why is the steel crown on the ground? Why have you taken off your steel crown? What are you wearing? A plasteel flak helmet. Wear the crown, goddammit. It's much nicer. <laughs> you, what are you? Some kind of melon? Jeez. Oh. Alright, let's have a stockpile in here as well. I realise we should probably, um... If Worcester's not going to be happy with that bedroom, we might need to expand it a bit. So I'm going to preemptively add some walls here. Deconstruct this. Add some... Add some nice flooring in as well. Let's get a nice uh, wooden floor. Just here. Lovely stuff. Oh, look at that. That's beautiful. We've really made a, a nice, lovely area. And I realise we also need to claim all of this. This is ours. There we go. That's ours. Meaning we need to repair it as well. Oh. A dresser in the bedroom will improve it. You're right. A dresser in the bedroom will improve it. Um, so you, yeah, let's uh, let's slap a let's slap a dresser in. It can just be right down. Hmm. I suppose we could have it kind of like here, at the end of his bed. That's what we'll do. Get it nice and close. Oh, and of course we destroyed those walls, meaning there is now more space for, you guessed it, wooden floor. Oh yeah, everyone loves wooden floor. Everyone's favorite. Actually, we could do sandstone floor, sandstone tile. It would be very fancy. All right, now let us deconstruct this and this and uh, no, and this and this and now we have these proper bedrooms set up. Now all we need to do is run a power cable all the way up to them. So let's run that all the way through here and across here and we'll go up like so, along, up, along, up and then all the way up here. What's this? Combat supply from Hinran. Nice, we've got a combat supply who's visiting. That will be... Oh! Oh no, this is important. What are we naming our colony? Uh, since it looks like you'll be here for a while, Cooler Guy thinks you should give your faction a name. What should the faction be called? But also, what should the settlement be called, ladies and gentlemen? Chat, this is up for you. <laughs> Lucoric says the dog has more rights than the humans. Yes, that is because the dog is pure and loving and doesn't have the ability to harvest tea necessarily. I mean, it could probably like bite a couple of tea leaves, but at such a small rate, it doesn't make sense. So instead, he has, um, we're going to use him for, uh, for, for like just entertainment. He's lovely. Crapopolis, Yorkshire Tea Farm, Queen's Finest, Briff Tea. Spiftopia, Tea Land, Dog Land, Tea Colony, um, Spiftopia, um, Tea Town. I like the sound of I like the sound of Tea Town. We'll have this Tea Town, and then in terms of like actual faction name, we should call it um, uh, Oh Settlement Animal Farm. <laughs> okay, I like that Animal Farm. You've got that. Thank you for the donation, Max Ball. Good recommendation. And faction name, um, oh, happy, friendly, um, Amazon Co. <laughs> oh wait, no, we're not Amazon. 100% not Amazon. Winky face. Smiley face, we're not Amazon. Okay, that name isn't valid. <gasps> There's something going on here, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Amazon has purchased the rights to RimWorld. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Fractured Australia? Oh, you're right. That might work. Oh, organ donators. Yes, you're right. Um, British Heart Foundation. Yes. With the British Heart Foundation. The British Heart Foundation is now settled a new community known as Animal Farm. Now, the reason why I love RimWorld is because I can click on Dark Out here and I can go Operations and I can neuter him. <laughs> it prevents reproduction, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> oh, Dark Out. Oh. He's a male, 20, age 20, of the British Heart Foundation. Meaning. We own his heart. We can harvest the heart. Anyway, this combat supply is actually here, and I realise we haven't traded with them. So um, let's send uh, let's send Wusty over to go and trade. Go on, Wusty. Let's go see what's up. What have you got to sell? Um, Wusty cannot talk properly due to poor health. What's got you? What poor health does Wusty have? I wasn't aware he had any. Anyway, we can sell them medicine. That's the only thing they want to buy. Um, and they can sell us weapons, including a mono sword, a plasma sword, prestige recon helmet, steel plate armor. This is all way too fancy for us. This is exceedingly fancy. A sniper rifle might be useful, given um, the fighting we might be heading for. A uranium gladius masterwork does not sound like a, a weapon you want to actually hold in your hand. That sounds more like a weapon that's going to melt your hand off to the touch. But, you know, each to their, each to their own, really. Um... How much is a sniper rifle? A sniper rifle is $691. Oh, that's a lot of money. But I mean, it might work. It's a good weapon, so let's do it. Let's do it. We've got ourselves a sniper rifle. And immediately we're going to have Worsty um, equip our brand new sniper rifle. Sniper rifle. Oh my goodness. What is up with my pronunciation today? And that means, who doesn't have a weapon? Cooler guy wants a knife, so we can upgrade Steve Jones the bolt action. Oh my god, what was that? A fire. God damn it, a fire. Um, is everyone able... Everyone needs to be number one firefighting, okay? Number one firefighting and number one patienting. That means go put out that goddamn fire. Where is the home zone? Expand the home zone. Put out that goddamn fire. It is right there. It will burn down the base. <laughs> what is wrong with you melons? Ah. <sighs> All right, now we need to get people, um, in terms of furniture, everyone needs a lamp in their bedroom, excluding Dark Out, who needs a sun lamp to melt him to death. No, he needs a, needs a torch. He can have a torch lamp. Okay, that's what he's getting. There we go, the trade caravan's leaving, lovely. And we need a research project. Ooh, auto doors, hydroponics, IEDs, solar panels, fire foams, you name it. Solar panels are great. Um, 11 out of 10. Geothermal power would be great because we have a geothermal power vent right here. What's this? Bye, Jack. Thank you very much for your 50 pounds for the thousandth time today. Happy birthday, Spiff. This isn't much, but to, uh, to buy superior strawberry for mango twinings tea instead of inferior Yorkshire tea. <gasps> oh my goodness, Byrek. You're implying that twinings is better? My goodness. Anyway, thank you very much, by uh, by Siek, uh, for your 50 pounds. That's very, very, very generous. How much is, what's your resistance at? Okay, you're at 11.2. Hmm, who's our best warden? You are by far. Okay, so Worsty should be wardening. Worsty, Worsty, can you go warden? No, don't strip him. Go warden him instead. Okay, that's much nicer. A much more lovely thing to do. Whilst everyone has some free time as well, we'll have them uh, mine out this area here, which we might as well. And we can have them also mine out this area here. Um, and I guess here as well. We'll just mine out all of this, replace it with wooden walls. And you know, I'm even feeling generous because we have so much, we have so much spare wood. We might as well expand these bedrooms up a bit. Um, I mean, we can't go, we can't go down. Well, we can't go width ways, but we can have just really long ones. What is this? A person, Seer is here. Seer is a nudist. Okay, a 23-year-old wild woman who has just walked in. Um, this is not not someone we've named. Um, <laughs> we can... We have options to hunt and tame the wild woman. 
Okay, you know what? I'm thinking this is, an, this is a job for um, Cooler Guy, right? Cooler Guy of the British Heart Foundation. Go recruit them to the, uh, to the British Heart Foundation. We might need a couple of people out here. Um, and we're also going to need a second prisoner bed, I realise. So let's get another one in there. And you know what? We can actually, we can compact these guys in. Oh, we can't compact them in. I thought we could get another sleeping bed in there. Just one we'll have to do. All right, Cooler Guy, let's uh, get you sent on up over here. How's your how's your punching skills? 16 melee, you'll be fine then. What's Sears? Sears punching skills, 7. Okay. Uh, try and arrest. Go. Oh, it worked instantly. Good job, cooler guy. You've just kind of like grabbed a random wild woman wandering across the countryside. And now we're going to enslave her and get her to grow tea for us for the rest of her life. Um, so, lovely stuff. <laughs> and now someone gets to be Seer. Isn't that just perfect? Right, you're free, uh, cooler guy. Okay, now Seer, um, your your low expectations, your sweaty, awful barracks. Are you a nudist? Are you are you actually wearing clothes? You're not wearing clothes. You just not fussed by not wearing clothes. That's fine. You know, each to their own. Um, you do need to be renamed though, uh, so that can be done quite easily. Is it in the health section? I'm pretty sure it's in the health section. Bio. I can't remember how to rename prisoners now. It's been a long while. Might have to actually wait until we turn them into a slave. Oh, are you are you actually a slave now, though? Um, oh, I thought uh, Dark Hunter's become a slave. Because he's got a slightly different colour. That's why I was wondering what that was. I suppose it's because he is of our faction. Um, his resistance is quite low, though. He's not very happy though, due to the cramped interior, minor pain, awful barracks, slept on the ground, ate without a table, disturbed sleep and chemical want. He wants drugs. He just wants to have drugs. You know, we could actually expand out the prisoner barracks, I'm noticing. Um, there is an opportunity here. We could like expand it lengthways, um, actually deconstruct that. And we can have just a nice little steel column there, for fun. Adds to the charm. And then if we claim all of this, um, actually no, we just, uh, what is it, we deconstruct instead. Do, do, do. Deconstruct all of this, and there we go, we've got one slightly larger prisoner barracks for everyone to enjoy. Look at that, isn't that, isn't that great? We're so generous. Now you're only in an awful prisoner barracks as opposed to a exceedingly awful prisoner barracks. I'm brilliant. <laughs> Uh, oh, make a slave collar, Spiff. That's what I forgot. We haven't made a slave collar. Thank you, chat. Oh, you're so, so useful. Why didn't I think about the slave collar? Right, let's put that there. What do we want? We want bills, add bill, make a tribal slave collar. I want two of them, please. Thank you, chat. That was exceedingly useful of you. Alright, now let us have, in terms of structure, I want a wooden wall going all the way up here, going up here, going up here. And I realise that we have an issue because the power isn't actually joined here. There we go, perfect. Now the power's joined, now we can actually have lights over here. And we can deconstruct all of this. And we can also haul all of this rubbish. We need a dumping area, I've noticed. So let's create a dumping stockpile, which we can just... Slam down, I don't know, right here. This can be where we dump things. Oh, look at this, but now all the bedrooms are better. They're technically awful, but um, they're improving. This is really awful, but, you know, they're not... <sighs> give give us time, okay? Give us time. We can give you guys wooden floors. How's that? You love wooden floors. Everyone loves wooden floors. People just want wooden floors in their life. Except the prisoners. Why isn't Seer sleeping in the goddamn bed? Just sleep in the bed. You've got a bed right here. It's got food on it. Instead, you're sleeping on the floor. Now you're eating your food on top of Darko. That's not nice, okay? Jeez. Some people. What can I do? Oh, I thought... How is, uh, is Dark Count ready to be converted into um, being a tea slave? He's close. The, res the resistance is very low. I think Seer also needs to be... Oh, Seer has actually no... Um, no inherent value. Um, so we might as well just enslave. Uh, they don't have resistance. They've never known resistance. So they're just in a quick enslavement. 
I'm pretty sure I need... Oh, we need material for a tribal collar. What is needed for a tribal collar? Um, I haven't actually looked into this. Details. Oh, it requires skin. Okay, acceptable skins. Human leather. So logically, we could make a slave by skinning a slave and using their skin. Um, instead, we're going to be simplistic and... Uh, not do that <laughs> and instead send everyone out to go hunt some muffalos or something go hunt some muffalos okay go fight the muffalos and I'll get you a, a nice butchering area and you can turn those muffalos into human collars okay oh there's there's autumn with his pistol hunting a muffalo he has fired about 700 shots and that was a clean kill good clean kill <laughs> Good God. <laughs> that poor buffalo. That poor, poor buffalo. Now let's reinstall this chair here as well, because I'm generous. Bam. Oh, so that's two dead buffaloes, which we can now butcher, turn into like buffalo wool or something, and then we can use that to make a tribal collar. Now let's butcher creatures forever. Forever butcher. There we go, Steve Jones. Go butcher. And that reminds me, we're also going to probably need a... We're going to need a cooking area, aren't we? A nice electric stove. Slap bang, right here. Everyone loves a stove. And we could also use a fridge, ladies and gentlemen. A fridge. Now, where can we put that? We can probably put a fridge here, I'm guessing. If we put a fridge here, give it a wooden door. Um, and then if we add a... If we add a roof over it... Build roof area, bam. Then all we're going to need is a cooler, which cools this way. Good job. And now we've got ourselves a fridge. And we're going to have a cooking station. We're going to be able to make food. And Steve Jones is making our first tribal slave collar. Yes. Glorious success. Happy birthday, Spiff. Could you check and maybe exploit workers and resources Soviet Republic on Steam? There is a way. Um, you basically uh, just... Um, what's it? There's a way to like cheese international sales in a way to gain infinite money, uh, which is good fun. 11 out of 10 would recommend. Ah, so there we go. We've got ourselves our first good tribal slave collar, uh, which means we should be able to enslave sir at any moment. I will never do wardening. Call a guy. Are you able to do wardening? Nope, you're not assigned. Worsty, can you prioritize enslave enslavement? There we go. Bingo. Sir is now a slave and can be put to work. They are now going to put on some clothes. <laughs> and they're now doing researching. Why are you doing researching? No, I want you to be... What are you skilled at? You're skilled at hunting. You're not going to be able to do that. Skilled at handling. You're not going to be able to do that. Maybe, actually, if we get some, I don't know, chickens or something. You are now going to be plant cut and growing, okay? That is what you're going to do. Plant and grow and clean. Good, good amounts of cleaning and hauling, okay? And now we have slave. <laughs> oh, this is perfect. It's a new name. You're right, new name needed. No longer Seer the Jailbird. You have developed. You are new. Something incredible. Something amazing. And I mean, of course, who else could we give it to? But let me scroll all the way back up here. Bus 62, my dude. Bus 62 is our latest tea slave. Um, and I'm noticing that they are able to technically able to go outside. Now that's definitely not allowed. Uh, we need to create areas where the only the um, only the slaves are technically allowed, okay? So we need a expand allowed area. This needs to be area one, which we'll rename to uh, basically slave area. And it needs to be all of this area here. Um, they're probably also going to need to have access to this room here so that they can get food. Um, but that's all good. Perfect. Also, legally speaking, on all documents, these aren't slaves. These are just workers which are um, stuck with us forever. Um, forever workers, so to speak. Yeah, I know. They're, they're a bit trapped. But it's okay. It's okay. Don't worry. Don't worry about it. <laughs> oh, we've got a second one. So we can now, we can now also enslave Dark Hound. Which, to be honest, we might as well do. And I also realize we should probably create a... We need actually a second area for slaves to sleep, which uh, needs to be in here. Um, so let us... Let's give the um, let's give them wooden beds, um, because we're generous. 
and also I need to claim this and 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 claim this but deconstruct it. Good job. Oh, I'm so good. Ah, oh, what a glorious progress so far. We've got bus 62. Why are you sleeping on the floor? Are you doing good? How's your help? You, you're feeling um, feeling okay. You're naked, so you're not so happy about that. Um, you slept on the ground, but you're kind of happy because you've got very low expectations. Um, you, you're a night owl at night, which is great. Recreation is fully satisfied in a slightly impressive dining room. So that kind of out... The fact that you're sat in a slightly impressive dining room, you're kind of like... You've just been enslaved, but now you're in a, a nice dining area and you're like, oh, wow, that's... Is that an oak table? Wow, I've always wanted an oak table in my house. That's great. Oh, wow. And you know, it kind of makes kind of makes the situation a whole little less painful. <laughs> oh, God. Right, now I need probably some more growing zones. Um, because we might as well get some potatoes down here. That can be um, something for Bus to do. Oh, Dark Owl's resistance has been broken completely. Um, so he has now become... Uh, I'm pretty sure he's now become a slave, technically, so we can enslave. Good job. Congratulations, uh, Dark Hound. You're our brand new, brand new slave farmer. You're going to love it. And let's uh, not make these for prisoners. Set owner, Dark Hound, and set owner, uh, Bus 62. We've done it. Oh, we've created something wonderful. We'll even be generous and give them an end table to share. What is this? They're not prisoners, they're simply arbitrarily detained subjects. Yes, that's it. Not slaves, voluntary interns. Voluntary interns, that's it. Good. And what is this? An exotic trader. Um, that's actually quite... Exotic traders like um, hearts, if I remember correctly. Uh, let's quickly set this bed to medical. We've got... Okay, we don't have much time because the exotic trader will leave. But the exotic trader are one of the few people who will accept um, kind of like actual human organs as uh, as like actual trading. So um, you're gonna probably be able to guess what's gonna happen next, but bus 62, you have a, you have what I can only guess to be more kidneys than you actually need. Um, so we're gonna remove your right kidney. <laughs> and also your, your, yeah, you know, we'll keep to just a kidney at this time. Um, okay, bus. So you go, you go rest until healed. Um, what's this? New lovers. Worsty pursued cooler guy by cheerfully making fun of her artistic school. Cooler guy responded well and is now Worsty's lover. Worsty, congratulations, my dude. You're probably going to want to sleep together, though. So that's something we're going to have to sort out. Anyway, who's our doctor? Um, who is our actual doctor? Are you okay? You, you've got one medical, so no, you haven't got any. You've got none. Worsty, congratulations, you're going to have to harvest the organs. Um, <laughs> what, what Do we allow you to have medication? Yeah, we allow you to have medication. Good, right. Worsty, take out that, that kidney. They don't need that kidney. Good stuff. Remove the kidney. Oh, there we go, one kidney. Brilliant. Now let's go trade that kidney. Right, let's go, uh, let's go speak to Walter over here and trade away that kidney. And also we need to move our food stockpile to over here. Uh, this is very important. This needs to be storage and it needs to be uh, clear all foods and priority critical. There we go. Bam. Let's move those foods. Worsty cannot talk properly due to poor health. God damn it, Worsty. Anyway, we can sell ourselves that kidney we just m created out of thin air for $189. Look at that. We can sell that. Oh, brilliant. What can we buy with it? We could buy nothing. We need more kidneys. That's not good. We need more kidneys. More kidneys are needed. We could buy a little bit of gold, I guess. A little bit of gold. A couple of pieces of gold. No, that's not worth it at all. Right. Anyway, we've got it. We got the silver, and that's all that matters. Okay. Trade complete. Good job. And now also, Worcester is going to need a um. He's going to need a larger bedroom, isn't he? So uh, let's quickly reinstall this elsewhere and build ourselves a double bed. Um. So that's going to be furniture, double bed, and slap it down right about here. There we go. Good stuff. And what's this new? What's this new quest? Uh, 
Gratine Acrimonat, a count of the Shattered Empire, is calling from nearby. His guards were killed in an ambush. He escaped, but is now being followed by a manhunting raccoon. Uh, if we keep him safe at Animal Farm for a few hours until his shuttle arrives, they will be happy. Except for eight royal favor. Very well. We'll accept. Um, we'll accept this count. Um, there we go. Worcester, you can accept this. <laughs> oh goodness. All right. Good luck. <laughs> Okay, we've got Gratin who's joined temporarily. Let's jump to his location. He's uh, he's wandering on in. Good stuff. And here comes the man-hunting raccoon. Um, my goodness, look at him. He's spooky. Let's set some targets to hunt on him. Let's get him murdered. And also, I realize I haven't assigned my areas correctly. Where is it? Is it in um, assign? Uh, schedule? Oh, here it is. It's in schedule. Right. You guys need to be assigned to area one only. Um, oh wait, not you. Actually, yes, you. You should be assigned to area one and dark count. Perfect. Why is bus ninety two just lying here? You're you're downed. Okay, because you're sedated. Right, that makes sense. That makes perfect sense. Let's set owners to be Wusty and who did he fall in love with? He fell in love with a cooler guy, wasn't it? Yeah, it was Wusty and cooler guy are in love. Right, Wusty, why are you in pain? What's what's happening here? You're cowering. Can you fight the goddamn manhunting raccoon? Where is that manhunting raccoon? Jump to location. Oh, is the manhunting raccoon is dead and is being converted into food right now? Okay, right. You no longer need to cower, Wusty. You're free now. What is this shuttle leaving? Uh, let's set load to be this dude. Um, there we go, accept, and just put, pop him on his shuttle. That was the easiest mission I've ever done. Okay, the raccoon kind of walked in. I'm pretty sure was murdered by these guys here. And, um, yeah. Job done. Oh, we've got the quest complete. Everyone doesn't include the slaves' beds. Oh, thank you for pointing that out. Very, very good. Um, very smart chat. Very smart. Smartest people around. All right, bam. Included. Oh, look at that. Freehold the title gain for Wusty. Wusty is getting promoted in the world, ladies and gentlemen. He is a yeoman and he's a he's now got a psychic neuroformer. The Oh, we've we've done it. We've done it. Wusty is like he's going up through aristocratic society. That does actually make sense why both of the interns were sleeping on the dirt floor here instead of actually, you know, sleeping on the beds I made for them. Also, has my jazz stopped? It has. Jazz, get back. There we go. Oh. Do, do, do. Do, 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 do. I love jazz. I really do. What's this one cooler guy? Is it time for Australian version of the French kiss? You know, down under. Oh my god. Co cooler guy. Jeez. Just because you and Worcester are in love doesn't mean you need to be indecent. My goodness. Right, let's add some bills for this electric stove. Oh, look, here it is. Make tea and make organic tea. Ah, uh, so organic tea um, is created via um, hearts. You basically need a human heart and you can create organic tea. Um, or if you have regular tea leaves, you can make tea. Uh, look at that. Look at this incredible board. That is just beautiful. Do forever. When, I, when we have tea, you do that forever. Um, let's quickly pause that actually and then also we want to have cook simple meals Okay, do until we have I don't know 30 or something Look at that. Oh my goodness The tea is here ladies and gentlemen. It is here Can you make the geothermal plant yet? We can't we're busy researching at the moment. Worcesters Worcesters giving it his all but it's a long research this is Shaman merchant, okay, these guys are Weird. They've got like throwing staffs, and that's all. Need to up the human rights violation numbers. Those rookie numbers. You're right, actually. We need two more because we um we uh we got actually no. We need three more because we randomly imprisoned uh, bus sixty two, and then we enslaved them, and then we enslaved dark count. Actually, we need four more because then we also harvested the right uh, kidney of bus sixty two, which is definitely illegal. Um, so consequently, we need to increase the counter from eight. Uh, oops, that's the, definitely the wrong one. Um, oh, and also I forgot, I haven't even shown off the greatest thing I made, chat. Oh my god, right. Scrap this. Scrap everything, chat. 
Okay, because so many people did amazing donations that are absolutely lovely, I decided to create, I, I decided to make a gift for everyone. Okay, a gift. Does everyone want to see what my gift is? My gift is, it's for all the lovely people who, who donated, okay, and are here to celebrate my birthday and have liked the stream and are just watching it. Does everyone want to see my gift to everyone? Yes, you don't? Of course, you want to see? Good, okay. Right, get ready, chat. I spent about two hours making this and I think it's art. Oh yeah. Oh, it's, it's just, oh, it's good. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god oh look at this look at this i made <laughs> i made all of this isn't it just brilliant look at it i found all of this online mostly on like facebook forums or something but look at this art this absolutely perfect you can send this to all of your friends and families when it's their birthday it's kind of like a good um cover all um <laughs> what the fuck is this this is art okay chat this is art does this count as a human rights violation probably probably yeah actually we should probably have about seven thousand for the people who saw this oh god <laughs> thank you very much for all the donations of birthday wishes <laughs> oh god right back we go um, to rebuild and actually I need to uh, increase the uh, increase the human rights violations from 8 to I'm pretty sure we're now on 12 there we go 12 human rights violations good stuff oh these are some good numbers do you like my gift chat you really like my gift happy birthday this is art I know it was I'm so good at art <laughs> you just violated 7067 human rights <laughs> yeah I think we just did what is this? Zips the dog. You're just eating the raw meat off the ground. Don't do that. Eat actual human food. Don't just eat raw meat. It's not good for you. It's not good for you at all. I realize we should probably also expand our growing operation because there's no reason to say we need to keep our slaves to just this area. The only issue is we need to expand our walls. So um, we need to get more wood cut down. So let's cut down all of this wood here and build a giant wall into this space here because this area has increased growing um, because of the uh, the type of ground that it is. So let's quickly build all of this and then uh, just just mine away this stone or well, this nice steel. Perfect. Look at this. And we can get all of this can be like tea crops and potato crops. Oh, it's going to be brilliant. That gift compilation violates the Geneva Convention. I love it. I mean, it was mostly the minion, like the really knockoff creepy million, minion I found. Um, already like we've lost about 200 viewers because they've just their minds have melted what's this miserable slaves why could you be miserable what's what's got you upset my organ was harvested i'm hungry i'm naked that's fine that's all fine have i have i restricted your access to the food is that why expand allowed zones area one yet yeah. so that's why it's because they uh, they don't actually have access to food that would kind of be why they are slowly starving um, go eat the food, you melons. How are you? Are you hungry as well? You are hungry as well. Go eat the package survival meal. <sighs> what silly sausages. Well, there we go. We're growing out this area here. Lovely. Lovely stuff. You know, we can also actually unshackle our slaves, and that will make them run faster and work faster as well. So that's probably a good idea. It does mean that they can run away, but... They're unlikely to run away because they love us so much. We're great captives. Alexander Mathis and Engen, thank you very much for 500 knock, arguably the um, the strongest of the currencies um, in Scandinavia, better than the the Swedish krona and the Danish klugeflugen. Um, great currency knocks, 11 out of 10. <laughs> Wusty has psychic powers sitting in a stockpile. Okay, you're right, fine. Wusty, go pick up your your neuroform Psylink, okay? And now you can have psychic abilities. I'm pretty sure the, it, what, it's just like burden or something? Gives him the ability to slow people down. Uh, oh, he can increase his psi focus. Okay. He can meditate. I have no idea what half of this stuff does. Okay, the last, it's been a, it's been a while since I played uh, the new update of RimWorld. I mostly stick to the old one. 
because I'm a lazy sausage and I also like it so much. Right, there we go. Let's get building all of this. We're off to a cracking start anyway. And bus 62 is proving to be very valuable, little intern, because they cook almost all of our food. Look at that. Isn't that just brilliant? And they're cleaning up all the dirt and they cook all of our food. I don't understand why they could possibly be miserable. I mean, the organ harvesting, yeah, issue. But actually, I realize I need to set your, um, your schedule um, to just be anything, really. Just do whatever. Um, potato plant died from rotting. How? Are they ready to... Oh, I suppose it's it's not in the daylight. That is an issue, yeah. So these, these crops just can't grow because there's no sun. Uh, but that's fine, you know. It just uh, adds a bit of an extra challenge. Oh no, now we've got all of the knock donations coming out. Happy birthday, have a few knocks. Thank you very much, Dragon with Pizza and Alexander Holter, for your 69 knock donations. Joshua James, happy birthday. How old is my lord? Uh, well, how old is the king? I am uh, 174 today. Um, it's a lovely birthday. Very excited. Um, yeah, it's it's very fun. 11 out of 10. Do recommend being a, a, as old as the ancients. Oh, my goodness. What is this? We got a raid. Okay, this is going to be important. It is technically just a single dude with a, um, a club. So that isn't going to be too difficult to defeat. So you know what that means, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to get everyone that we can and... Select select all the important people, um, you lot, and we're just going to have you stand. Where is he going to try and go? To? Just I guess here. Let's just go here. Good stuff. Right, get over here quickly. Um, or maybe just directly attack. Yes, go for just the straight attack this person. Uh, right, give me a second. One second, chat. I'll be back in a moment. I really don't need the loot chat, sorry. And also, um, that was just uh, just my fiance Mango coming in to say that she's running off for the day, going um, going shopping, if you can believe it. I know. Going shopping without me on my birthday? Devastating. Right, can we get that guy? Cooler guy, are you just chasing him down? I, I mean, you could have shot him, you know? You don't have to just knife everyone, you see. Oh, and he's dead. Cooler guy, that was a potential recruit, goddammit. Oh my god. All right, back in a moment. I'll give you the birthday screen whilst I'm AFK. Enjoy. Now this is when we see the screams of no, not the birthday scene. Enjoy it, chat. <laughs> oh, I'm evil. You love it. This is your favorite, your favorite YouTuber. Your favorite YouTuber, insert name here, okay? I make art. I love also the fact that I left both of the songs on so that it layered <laughs> your ears. <laughs> so sorry, chat. I'm so sorry. Oh, rest in peace, Narwhal Archer, though, who has died here. Um, they are 100% dead. That is an F. Uh, the good news is, though, we can technically take his body and break it down um, and use his human lever for cake is it can we make is it cake we can make from uh, from humans anyway we'll butcher human corpses uh, because that's what we're all about can we make cake uh, so there's cake question mark and then there's cake so cake question mark requires human meat and human lever yes we can make human cake we can make me a birthday cake ladies and gentlemen yay Oh yeah, let's get this body back as soon as possible so we can make some human cake. I love me some human cake. Lever cake, yeah, it's tasty, tasty lever cake. 
Ah, there we go. Goodbye, traders. Pleasure having you. What is this? Potato plant died from rotting. Slave escaping? <gasps> no, no, you don't. No, 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 no. Nice try. Nice try. But that's not happening. This is exactly why we needed to... Uh... Come on. Capture them. Capture them, Wusty. Capture them. There we go. You did. Good job. Oh, my goodness. This is why we should have had the wall built. Okay. I realize the wall does need to be finished. Quite quickly. Sorry about that, Wusty. Can you can you prioritize actually finishing this goddamn wall so that they won't keep trying to escape? There's our first um, intern trying to run away. That's fine because uh, we can just. Wait, are they in timeout? <laughs> oh, I see. So they're in a they're in a temporary timeout at the moment. Um, they'll rejoin the colony after some time has passed. So they're just like in a little chill out zone after trying to escape. But don't worry, they'll be back soon. <laughs> Oh, I love this game. It's brilliant. Oh, let's try and improve the uh, the construction because I want this. I need this wall built. Okay, I need this. What's this? Cougar hunting Steve Jones. Where the heck is Steve Jones? Oh my God! It's inside the base. It's inside the goddamn base. Uh, we're gonna need everyone for this. Cooler guy actually has a knife, so probably not him. Uh, I don't think a knife versus a cougar is a good idea. Right, everyone, open fire on that cougar. Can I add... Can, what can I do? I can do burden. Uh, temporarily slowing down the cougar. Right, let's do that. Right, we've slowed down the cougar. Temporarily. Right, run. Steve Jones. Steve Jones, run. If you try and lure the cougar away... Okay, and Worcester, you run as well. Oh, the cougar is now trying to run. Good stuff. Good stuff. This is a good fight, Worcester. Murder it. Murder the cougar. Fire at the... Why aren't you just attacking that goddamn cougar that's trying to murder you? Good stuff. It's now running away again. Good. Now finish it off. Finish it off. Hit it with a burden. Psychically burden. Nope. It's just running away. Goddamn cougar. Come back. Let me murder you. I can turn you into food. Oh, God. Right. Chase. Chase cougar. Chase it. Attack. Attack the cougar. Go and murder it. Actually, aim your shots. God damn it. Aim the shots. Stop missing. Why are you missing? Now the cougar's fighting a rabbit. Okay, it's trying to fight a hare. Is the cougar going to bleed to death? Yes, in nine hours. In three hours. Good. You shot it in the neck there. Fantastic. We've murdered it. Lovely. Right, now let's try and steal it. <laughs> oh, goodness. Oh. Thank you very much, uh, Med De Madison, for 500 Danish krona, DKK. As I've always said, Danish currency is my favorite currency. Um, way better than uh, the Norwegian krona. Am I right, guys? <laughs> oh, yeah. No, actually, I love all currencies. I think they're brilliant. I love currencies. Especially, um, what is it? Vietnamese dong, just because it's such a meme. This dark count has nothing to do. Dark count. There's always something to do. Let me give you a little bit of... You can have a little bit of everything, okay? I want you to do a little bit of everything. You can even research if you like. Right, can we finish off this wall, um, please? Steve Jones, can we finish off the wall? Please? I, I just don't want the slaves continuously trying to escape, you know? That would be great. How can you talk like this about my currency? Look, it's I, I talk about every currency. Every single currency. Oh, what is this? A raid. They'll prepare for the attack. It's Frankie. Frankie has arrived with a taser. He's not even dangerous. That's brilliant. We can capture him. Oh, let's try and capture him. Brawler has a ranged weapon. Oh, he's a punchman, though. Okay. Is he just trying to attack immediately? Maybe we should... Um, I think maybe we should send Wusty. Wusty... Grab your sniper and just try and hit off one of his legs or something. Alright. Just, I don't know. Let me actually pull you back a bit. Right, just fire at him. And we'll also burden him. Bam. There goes. Slow down. Uh, due to being psychically burdened. And now we're going to yeet at him. Okay, come on, Wusty. Hit those shots. Hit those shots. Yeah, nice. He's dead in 16 hours. Great stuff. And... Nope, that was not... That was not the... 
My God, Worsty! <laughs> Worsty used burden on Frankie. Worsty shot a, a sniper bolt into Frankie's stomach, damaging his torso. Worsty's then second shot absolutely crushed Frankie's torso, causing it to cave in on itself, meaning we don't have yet another person who we can uh, use to harvest tea. Okay? Instead, all we've got, Worsty, is someone to turn into cake. Okay? God damn it. Turn that man into cake. Also, can someone please turn that man into cake as well? Or just prioritize the butcher process. Who is assigned to cooking? Is it Steve? Yeah, prioritize butchering the humans, please, Steve. Oh, now this area's opened up. Fantastic. We can use it for growing. Nice. So I want zones, growing zones. I want some potatoes down here in a nice 9x9. I'm going to have some tea in here. It's going to be a nice area for tea. Oh, wait. Shrink zone. Remove. There we go. This is now tea. And this is going to be potatoes. Oh, yeah. Some new fun things for the uh, for the lovely um, lovely slaves too. I realize we don't actually need our workers on plant cutting and growing anymore. Because, you know, that's for someone else to do. We need a meditation spot. Oh, apparently Worcester needs a meditation spot. What the heck is a meditation spot? Okay, we're just going to whack that down somewhere and you're just going to do brain stuff. Right, let's put it in the middle of this tea crop or something. So that you can just be surrounded and be one with the tea and let it guide you. You know, I'm actually feeling generous. I'm going to run a power cable through here and allow a standing lamp inside the, uh, the intern holding center. Yes. Now I've noticed we now have our human meat and our human leather. Um, do we? Yep, we've got 99 human leather, which means in the bills we can ask for there to be cake. Oh, and a silver or meteorite? Right? Where the hell have you landed? Oh, right there. Okay, that's quite nice. We'll eventually do that. Mr. Spiff, you majestic king, thank you for your fine entertainment. Thank you very much. Link CWZ donates $10 to say the cake was a lie. Of course. One cooler guy says, look man, you got a stab, you got a stab. I know, you, you did absolutely murder that man though. I mean, we have turned him into cake. Well, we will turn him into cake, but you know. These things take time. That's 62, what are you doing? Oh, we've got Dark Count back as well. Lovely. Dark Count, have you saved all of the previous things you were doing? Yes, you have. Good. Let's just have them all on, um, you know, kind of like, they can do stuff. They can do a little bit of everything. And how is Bus92 at cooking? Are you actually okay at cooking? Um, in terms of your abilities? You're not terrible. I mean, you are actually terrible. What are you making? Are you making simple meals? This is, this. that's definitely going to give people food poisoning. All right, let me move the, um, the cake. Right up. This is going to be the most highest priority um, ever. Stop trying to make the goddamn simple meals. I want cake. Miserable slaves. That's just part of the charm of it. Maybe they need a recreation in here. Maybe they need a um, their own horseshoe pin game inside the base. There we go. I'm generous. You see, very generous. Hello, chat. Why are you screaming help, chat? Why would you scream help? Oh, the taser would be perfect for convincing new interns to join. You're right. We need to actually get someone who is okay at shooting. Uh, Autumn, you're actually not terrible at shooting. Equip that stun gun. You're no longer going to murder people. Instead, you're going to be great. Right, now let's expand the allowed areas. Oh, no. That's an issue. Uh, we'll get around to that in a second. I just need to expand the allowed areas for the um, for our interns to include all the way down here. There we go. Perfect stuff. So, uh, Bus 62 has gone into catatonic state well, of shock simply because their organ was harvested. Um, so they're a little bit upset, as you can kind of tell. Steve Jones is currently using the medical bed, however. Um, <laughs> Let's make that a medical bed. Is, is someone going to look after Bus 62 at all? 
Are we gonna go help them? Wisty, do you wanna do you wanna rescue them at all? Put them back on their bed? Nope. <laughs> Just gonna <laughs> have them sat on the floor for ages. Oh my god. Colonist needs treatment. Dark house. Why do you need treatment? Oh, you're exceedingly bruised all over. What happened to you? Steve Jones punched you. Oh, did you have a fist fight with Steve Jones? A dark count flirted with cooler guy, commending her accent. A cooler guy was not interested. Dark count is escaping. Oh my god. We need to lock these doors in future. We need to lock them. Arrest. Right, everyone. Arrest. Arrest. Autumn. You over here as well. Go. Steve Jones, run as well. I need you over here. How fast are you? you? Okay, moving. Worsty, psychically burden. No line of sight. Beans, you need a line of sight. Run, run, run. Get that line. Don't you dare run. Dark out, no. Dark out, please. You don't want to escape, Dark out. You don't. No, Dark out, no. Oh, 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 oh. Worsty, can you, can you do the burden? Worsty, oh, beans. No. 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 No! Dark out, why? Why would you leave us, Dark out? I can't believe you'd do that. I can't believe you'd do that. Dark out has left the colony, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> The free-range cake got away. He did. That's terrible news. Oh my goodness. Now let's crap. Let's scrap the uh, plan to cook simple meals. And um, I really want to make this cake. So um, let's change around some work orders. Who actually is good at cooking? Steve Jones is is good. Okay, Steve Jones. I want you to um, not heal yourself, but instead make some human cake for us, please. There we go, there's the human meat, that's good. There's a little bit of extra human meat. And there's the human lever, right? Let's make a human cake. We did it. We made seven human cake. Look at that. Look at that tasty human cake. Steve Jones is eating some now. Look at that. Tasty bit of cake on the table. Steve Jones, you're gonna love it. Oh, what's this, slave escaping? Oh, that, that's, that's old, yeah. Yeah, that's old. <sighs> Oh, Steve Jones, you love that. What's what's wrong? What? Why are you sad? Cooked cannibalism. I ate a meal made from humans. It was horrible. What do you mean? You ate cake. That's even better. Thank God the ate cake outweighs the cooked cannibalism because the ate cake is a positive mood lit for seven days. Oh, my God. <laughs> why is there starvation? Bus 62 needs food. Oh, beans. Wisty, can you um, prioritize feeding her? You're gonna feed a human cake. Yes, bus 62, enjoy eating human cake. It's your birthday, happy, happy birthday. Eat the human cake, yeah. Oh, mad squirrel. Jump to location, it will attack anyone it sees. Right, let's schedule that for hunting. Oh my God, happy birthday cake for truly happy people. Happy, 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 happy birthday cake. Happy birthday cake time. Yay. Oh my god. Steve Jones, are you trying to fight that mad squirrel? Steve Jones, just let the mad squirrel into the base. God damn, murder the mad squirrel. Autumn, also prioritize hunting the squirrel. Apparently it's knocked out on the ground now though. Oh, you're just gonna snap its neck or are you? Good job, great job. You really showed that squirrel. 11 out of 10. Let's also expand this stockpile area a little bit. Just because we can and we might as well. Bam. Good stuff. <sighs> we, we, I, I tell you we're doing a great job, chat. Um, Spiff, get the post-mortem mod. It allows you to get organs even after the death of a person. <gasps> I need to get that mod installed. I love the sound of that. Oh, that does sound brilliant. Post-mortem mod. I'll have to add that to my list. That sounds exactly like what we're looking for. I'll tell you what we could do with. We could do with like maybe some some chickens. Like if we had a couple of chickens, we could 
get a near limitless supply of food. Like there's a turkey here, so that's a female turkey. Let's try and tame that. Is, that, is this a male turkey down here? Yeah, so this is a male turkey and a female turkey. So my logic is if we get the two together, we can have multiple turkeys. Are there even more turkeys as well? Because if we try and tame all of them, then, you know, that improves our chances. Um, there's gazelles, muffalos, mega sloths, hares and rats and squirrels. Okay, so turkeys are our best bet. Autumn Sakaris donates 1,000 yen to say, Hey Spiff, can I have a psychic ability? I know that I'm psychically brain dead, but apart from that, please, please let me. Okay, Autumn, you cannot be given psychic abilities. You are physically unable to do so, okay? Oh, the, the Zeko Union is raiding. Let's, uh, let's jump over to them. What do they got? They've got one dude called Doggerger. Okay, he's got a steel club. Autumn, I reckon you can probably solo this one. So, um, go, uh, go tase him a bit. Okay, Here we go, go, just get close and zap. Just tase. That's a miss. That's a hit right now. Let's run. Let's run, Autumn. Autumn, let's run. Good. You got a good hit, so that kind of slowed him down. Oh, what the heck? Why is he dead, Autumn? Autumn, why is he... It is a stun gun, Autumn. How do you murder someone with a stun gun? How? We need these organs. You are literally killing my industry, Autumn. <laughs> right, Autumn. That is... That is it. You've lost your you've lost your reproductive rights. Okay, as soon as you get back to the base, we're harvest we're neutering you. Okay, that's a neutering right there. Chat, we're all in agreement, right? That was a heart attack, was it? <laughs> Damn it! Oh god, he had he literally did have a muscle shock due to the the stun gun, which has like caused him to have a seizure and die. Oh my god! Damn it, Autumn. What is this? Visitors have arrived at Animal Safety. They are afraid to enter your territory for the following reason. No guest beds. Um, uh, refuse visitors until I have guests. Yeah, let's send them away. I don't have guest beds at the moment. Anyway, Autumn's waiting here for his operation. Worsty, prioritize operating on Autumn, please. Autumn, I'm afraid. Oh, no, it went wrong. It went wrong. You fell in a mine away trying to neuter Autumn. Brilliant. Right, can you now tend to him? Uh, well, the good news is, Autumn, uh, you haven't lost your... You haven't been neutered. The bad news is, you have lost a exceedingly large amount of blood. Um, <laughs> uh, it's fine. Eat the berries. Just eat the berries and be happy. <laughs> Taser was set to 11. That's the issue. God damn Taser. Turn that Taser down, god damn it. <sighs> Plus one human rights violation. You're right. Plus two because we tried to uh, we tried to harvest uh, Autumn's organs. Who's starving? Bus sixty two again. Bus sixty two. Why are you waiting here? Are you still in your catatonic breakdown? How long does a catatonic breakdown last? Steve Jones, can you um? You're not assigned to doctoring. Okay, Steve Jones. Even if it's just like a little bit of doctoring, like number four, just in case. Go, go feed her, please. Just give her some food. Give her some potatoes. There we go. Now she's no longer starving. Oh. One cooler guy, you should just give me the psychic stabbing abilities. I promise it will go well. One cooler guy, you'll just murder people. What's this? Hosting Mantis? Um, oh my. Uh, Chief of the Rakagmo Treaties requesting a favor. His friend... Troller Mantis is interested in learning about other cultures and she wants you to host him at Animal Farm for 11 days. Mantis will not do any work whilst they are here. We can get a Masterwork Chain Shotgun, uh, a very lovely robe that increased psychic sensitivity, um, and also, or we could just go for some goodwill. Do we go for the Chain Shotgun or the robe, guys? I mean, the Chain Shotgun looks amazing. That looks pretty damn fancy. Let's click for more info. It's, uh... 
minus 3 beauty, but 22 damage. Stopping power, power 3.0, 360 rounds per minute. That's, oh, yeah, you want the shotty chat? Chatty's a chat to the shotgun. Let's go for that. All right, so we now have, um, we now have someone called Mantis who we now need to look after. Um, so I guess we make this uh, Mantis's bedroom now and Autumn will now have to sleep elsewhere. Uh, welcome, Mantis. Mantis, I'm noticing you're not wearing any clothes. Um, why have you arrived naked? You feel that this is humiliating? Yes, well, you are naked. I did not make you naked. So what, you want to just do bed rest and you're just going to walk around? Great. You just, um, you have fun, Mantis. Just don't die, okay? Stay in the home area. Don't wander off and die. Unhappy nudity. I'm not sorting your goddamn nudity issues, Mantis. What's this? A tanner from Tanner is passing by. Uh, from the Recagmo Treaty. Oh, the same people who Mantis is from. That makes sense. <gasps> Wait, hang on a second. Hang on a second. Harvest Mantis's organs, question mark. Hang on a second. Chat, are you sure? We could. I mean, there's... There's no reason why we can't take one of their lungs, you know? Like, that's fine. <laughs> yes, Mantis, yeah, just go lie down in the bed. Nothing bad's happening. Worsty, you know what to do. You know what to do. Hi, Mantis. Um, look, you're just passing by uh, for 11 days. But whilst you're here, I'd like your organ. Oh, no! It's made him angry! How could it possibly make him angry? Oh, Well now this, uh, this other person from their clan's angry and is going to try and fight us. Um, we could really do with having Autumn fight them, but Autumn is kind of under anaesthetic at the moment. So um, I'll draft Autumn, have Autumn uh, equip the Limestone Club instead so that someone else can have the... Um, so that someone else can pick up the, uh, the taser. Right, Steve Jones, grab the taser. Right, now someone needs to capture Mantis. Um, like so. So, uh, melee attack them to death. No, no, let's strip them of their knife. Do not murder them. And we kind of have to wait for them to, to wake up and then we can... Um, oh, did their other person run away? Oh, I thought they had another person here who was going to fight us. That's fine. Uh, so we've gained we've gained Mantis, and also did we gain Mantis's lung, or did the surgery go wrong? Uh, unauthorized surgery on Mantis, so he failed, um, and he was ha angry. So yeah, we didn't get anything. That's a shame. I mean, we now have Mantis though, right? We can still use him. Oh no, we did get his right lung. Where did we put his right lung? Oh, here it is. Shouldn't we put it, like, you know, in the freezer? Instead of outdoors, right? You know? Like, um... That makes sense. Where on earth even... Is the, uh... Is it in corpses? It's not in corpses. I'm pretty sure it's manufactured. Like, medicine, isn't it? No, but we should probably put the medicine in there as well. I don't even know where you put human limbs and body parts. What do you class as? Description. Lung. Okay, it doesn't even say. That's fine. We'll work out eventually, chat. Map size large. I'm pretty sure it's large or medium. Yeah, he still has two kidneys which need to be harvested. And at the end of the day, he also has a heart. Oh, he's just woken up and is vomiting on the floor. Good stuff. Um, you're not very happy. I am noticing. Uh, so... Once everyone wakes up, don't worry, we'll have you we'll have you arrested. It's okay. For the time being, you can just sit here and start throwing up everywhere. You're almost back to full consciousness as well. Oh, it's in items body organs. Thank you, chat. Thank you very much. Very generous. Right, items and then body parts. Yay! God bless body parts. Oh and I realise I also need to actually add um add food onto this. We need more make cake orders, but we also need more 
simple meal orders uh, just do forever, really. I says, Wusty's gotten food poisoning from potatoes cause dangerous food type. Potatoes are a dangerous food type to Wusty? God damn it, that's weird. Never expected that. And anyway, everyone's enjoying their um, their cake at the moment. It's very tasty. Bus 62 is back to work. They're no longer lying around on the floor, dead. Um, and so they're, you know, harvesting all of our potatoes and rice, which is lovely. Good stuff, Bus 62. Very impressed. What's this? Starvation. Autumn is dying of starvation. Autumn, eat the goddamn cake. Good stuff. Autumn has ate the, eaten the cake. Mantis, you are given up and leaving. Mantis, I'm afraid we can't have you leave. Can we... How do we capture you? I just need you, okay? Right? Let me grab, um... Who has the taser? Steve Jones, come here. Come in here and tase Mantis. There we go. Good shot. Tase again. That was a miss. It's point blank. How are you missing this? There we go. Good stuff. Now we can capture them. Right. Capture. Perfect. Uh, so that's Mantis now added to our collection. <laughs> oh, God. Right. And um, I realize the marriage is on. A marriage is on. Worcester and Cooler Guy are getting married. They're, well, they're engaged. At some point in the coming days, they'll have a, they'll have a marriage ceremony. Let's place down a lovely marriage spot. Um, it's in Misk, isn't it? Yeah, marriage spot. Right in front of the creepy massive altar. This looks perfect. Oh, there'll even be cake. I mean, it's human cake, but it's it's still kind of cake. Um, I realise if we're going to turn Mantis into a slave, we're going to need to make a tribal collar. But what I'm going to do, we're going to make it so that we're only going to allow, from this point on, human leather slave collars. Um, so Mantis is going to wear the skin of dead humans around his neck and that will remind him to never run away never never ever 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 mad alpaca it will attack anyone it sees goddamn mad alpaca right who's got a proper fighty gun cooler guy do you want to duel a mad alpaca i mean like you've got a knife good job like what have you done so far you've been you've got gravel in both of your eyes the alpaca has kicked gravel in your eyes. Good job. You've murdered the alpaca, though. 11 out of 10. Rescue the alpaca? No. Melee attack the alpaca to death. Good job. And also haul the alpaca, please. Well done, cooler guy. You can actually fight. Here's some peasant money. Oh, yeah. Thank you very much, Sulfur Oreo, for your $20. What's this? Chunks of spacecraft have landed nearby? Nice. Good stuff. You love to see it. Love a good bit of spacecraft. What is in here, actually? I realise we haven't been in here. Um, we'll have to send Worcester in there. He's busy consuming cake at the moment. What has he put the dog been up to? Just basically been playing with Worcester and that's the only thing they've done? I suppose we could probably, probably train them to be a guard. That makes sense. And we can eventually train them to haul. That would be even better. Yeah, let's train the doggo. Travis Leeton, tax for the king on this most glorious day. Thank you very much, Travis Leeton. Very generous donation. <sighs> Plus seven human rights violations. Right, I'll add that to the list. So what, we're up to um, 19 now. Let me quickly add that in. 12, nope, we are now on 19 human rights violations. Good stuff. And we're back. Collins needs treatment. Cool, guy, what's wrong? It's just a bunch of bites and bruisings from alpacas, okay? It's not much. I know it's a whole bunch of blood on your picture, but it's okay. Don't worry. I've also got anyone set to handling. Wusty and the jailbird. Right, we'll have Wusty actually be the handler. Um, and by that I mean his job is to go out into the wild and convince turkeys to join us. And then once we get the turkeys, we then have our interns um, basically train the turkeys. And now that we've got Mantis here as well, let's um, break his resistance. Reduce that resistance. Good stuff. Hi, Spiff. Just woke up. Um, I see you like the mod I made you. Happy birthday. Thank you very much, Scuffy. It's a very good mod. Very, very, very good mod. Um, people are loving the cake. Uh, especially the um, Bus62, our unpaid intern here, really loves the cake. Very enjoyable. The cake almost makes them forget the fact that they ate, well, I harvested one of their organs, okay? They're happy. They're very happy. 
Ah. Uh. So yes, the recommended mods which we'll need to get for next time, post-mortem and expanded prosthetics and organ engineering, allows you to harvest or um, things like eyes and noses. Oh, I like the sound of that. That sounds very good. All right, and we're, we're slowly reducing Mantis's issues. Um, what's his issue? Slept in the heat, so he's not happy with that. I suppose it is quite warm. Um, could probably get some kind of cooler system set up. Might as well, actually. Um, let's get some vents through here. So I want a vent, a vent, a vent, and a vent. And then we can set up a cooler like so. And just generally try and keep all of these rooms nice and chilled. Minor break risk. Cooler guy, what's wrong? Just because you've been attacked by a alpaca. Opinion of my fiance, Wusty. Being with my Wusty makes me feel good. Good job, Wusty. Good job. Slave is escaping. God damn it again! I need to stop giving them access to doors. Um, Chase, Wusty, you need to run as well. Wusty, you're going to need to psychically burden them, like, immediately. Go. Chase, 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 Chase. I think we actually have a chance with this one, because Bus is gonna- I mean, we're gonna have to put the restraints on them again, I realize. All right, psychic sensitivity, go. Did that work? Yes, yeah, psychically burdened. Good. Right, Wusty, we need to chase him down. Chase him down. Yes, the psychic burden is definitely what we needed. Right, arrest. Good, we got him. We got him, boys. That'll teach you for trying to run away. Right, from this point on, these doors are now locked, okay? For everyone who isn't, Cooler Guy, Steve Jones, Wusty, and Autumn. Same for this door here. This is... Call a guy, Steve Jones, and Autumn Door. Okay, from now on, no more escaping. No more escaping. Happy birthday, Swift. May you exploit uh, your way to a lovely day. Kind regards from the colonial who drinks tea and hot bean juice. Thank you very much, Hunter Seeker Algorithm. Lovely to have your donation. Ah, but yes, there we go. We finally recaptured. Um, we've recaptured our slave. That's perfect. That's what we needed. Steve Jones, you're now free to go back to whatever you're doing. Um, actually not. Please make that uh, that collar. Um, that would be very useful, I realize. Very, very useful. Right, Bus now has to sit in timeout for a day. He's in the naughty zone. Very, very naughty. Oh, animal disease. Flu. Zips has got the flu. No, Zips. Oh, no. Oh, we need to help you. I also realize we need to make these uh, pet doors as well. Pets can go through. Um, otherwise, the pets would be trapped. Um, oh, poor Zips. We need to prioritize tending you. What is this? What is this? Minor break risk, Wusty? What's wrong, Wusty? What's got you upset? Colonist organ was harvested, minus two. Um, greedy, uh, you want a more impressive bedroom. Okay, that's going to be a challenge. Slept in the cold, okay, right, that can be fixed, I guess. Awful bedroom, unsightly environment, low expectations. The only good thing in your life is cake. Okay, we're going to need to, um, we're going to need to get more things into this room then that look good. Maybe like a, a sculpture or something. Just anything to make him happy. Maybe like a, a chessboard would make him happy. Let's give his room a chessboard and... Two two wooden chest chair, two wooden stools. Okay. Let's also take a look at what improves and lowers. Beauty here is lower. I'm guessing that's because of dirt. Okay. It's gonna be this is gonna take a while to improve his bedroom, but we can do it. We can do it. It's achievable. Autumn Sicarius, if you really want to up the anti antics, get the Radiology mod so you can bombard pr prisoners with radiation to mutate their organs for harvest. What the hell is that a mod? That is an actual mod, my god, I love it. I love the sound of that. You've convinced me, Autumn. That's on the list. Hero of Sometimes, thank you very much for your $10. Uh, happy birthday, Spiff. Enjoy your content. I well, enjoy your existence. Thank you very much. Ah. <sighs> I'd say, all in all, this is going quite well. Will this be a VOD? Probably. Yeah, I don't see why this couldn't be a VOD. 
What's this? Visitors have arrived. Send them away. We don't have space for visitors at the moment. Okay. Wusty is too busy. I don't know. Meditating. Recreation satisfied. Extremely comfortable. Have you got a very comfy bed or something? Oh, you need a meditation spot. This is your meditation spot. Set owner. Wusty. Bam. Meditation spot. Miserable slaves. There's no need to be miserable, bus. Okay, it's a happy time. It's a very happy time. You should be grateful. We've done so many lovely things. What's this? Okay, colonists need beds. Um, oh, I see the issue. All of this has become right. Because we haven't built the vents, every, every single bedroom has become a prison instead. Right. Prioritize, build it. <laughs> Everything is not a prison. Everyone needs a bed. Get these built. Good. Right. These are not for prisoners. This is not for prisoners. This is also not for prisoners. And these are not for prisoners. Good. Right. Now you, set owner, um, blue 62. Good. Oh, my goodness sake. What a complicated. What a complicated mess that would have been. That would have been a real, real mess. Oh, more rights violations, love heart? Of course. Don't you worry. They'll come. Is that a guinea pig? How many guinea pigs are running around? There's a whole bunch of guinea pigs on this map. How many guinea pigs are there in the, in the wild? Oh my god, there's like seven guinea pigs just walking around. When did you guys come here? Are we going to be eating guinea pig this winter? Is that what we're going to be having? So, Worcester, are you feeling better? You really still want that impressive bedroom. Ah, oh, that's going to be such a faff to try and make an impressive bedroom. I mean, probably get kind of close, but, you know, it's rough. It's very rough. Guinea pigs, free meat? I know, they are. Tame the guinea pigs. Plus one. <laughs> yeah, could do taming. We could. Mantis, how are you feeling? Are you emotionally broken yet? No, you've still got good resistance. Your mood's not terrible either. You're happy that you ate cake, though. Um, Wist, if you just kind of, like, break his will eventually. There we go. You reduced it by two. Uh, so that's always nice. Maybe we could actually do with a proper, a proper prisoner bed. That might actually be the solution to our problems. Because if we reinstall a good bed over there, that's, um, that's very nice. And also I realized I should probably allow um, I should probably allow slaves into this room so that they can tidy it up um, because they need to do cleaning um, so that you know they can be allowed into all of these rooms they've got to clean everything bam area revealed jump to location we've got sandstone urns right reinstall these bad boys reinstall the sandstone urns sandstone urns ladies and gentlemen free mood boosts okay We'll even give one to the prisoners to make them happier. Aren't we just so generous? Complete your AC unit. Oh my goodness, yes, we haven't done that. Wusty, AC unit. I don't care about the geothermal. Get that AC unit built. You botched it. Oh, for goodness sake. Wusty, fix it. Good stuff. Right, now we can designate, yeah, temperature to be about 21. That seems good. Keep it nice and chilled. Good stuff. Drain some of my lovely batteries. If you have bought Prison Arctic Island Bound, are you, you are eligible for compensation, so here it is. <laughs> Thank you, Zelvara, for my, um, uh, Zel, Zel Rava for my uh, reimbursement for buying Prison Arctic Island Bound. Thank you very much. <laughs> God, what a game. Well, what a DLC, actually. Yeah, that wasn't, wasn't the best work Paradox has ever done. It was a shame. Was you going for your meditation? You are. Good. Oh. How's, the, how's Zips the dog doing? Have they beaten their flu? Oh yeah, they're going to develop an immunity nice and quickly. Good stuff. Spiff, research sterile materials ASAP and place it under the research bench. It gives a huge buff into research speed. No! No, we like slow research speed. Slow research speed means it takes us ages to get the geothermal plant. And it also, you know, adds a bit of challenge. Ah. So I remember, should I probably, I should probably, um, 
put the put I mean Mantis will probably need to be in shackles for a while um, what are your what are your needs in terms of like a, an actual slave are you happy you're not like devastatingly upset no your mood's actually good you're recreationally satisfied you've got low expectations your barracks is awful though so maybe I can fix that maybe I can um, you know give you some give you guys some wooden floors I mean, that'll make you happy. Everyone loves wooden floors. I realize also we could probably do with some, uh... What kind of floors are these? Oh my god, chunks of spaceship craft have landed as well. Nice. So these are marble tiles on the floor. So if I, um... We can actually ask for more marble tile. Oh, we can't, because we don't have enough marble tiles. Oh, but there's geothermal power plant research. So now we can go power... Geothermal power plant. Oh, we need a construction skill of eight. Oh, yeah, okay. So we can't have the geothermal power plant. But we kind of are getting there. We're getting close. What do we have a lot of? We have a lot of limestone, right. So I want, in terms of floors, I want limestone floors. Um, limestone tiles. Bam, 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 bam. And we just need basically any way to make Wusty happy with his own goddamn bedroom. Um... So that's what we're going to do. We're just going to try and make him happy. Plus, what are you doing? Are you just standing around? Animal starvation? Oh my god, has someone not fed the goddamn Labrador? Wusty, feed your dog. <sighs> feed your doggo. He needs to be fed. Bus, can you, can you feed him? Is he happy? He, he doesn't need food, does he? No, he's fine for food. Good. Cargo pods? What do we got? What do we got? Medicine. A whole bunch of it as well. So that can be used for, um... That can be used. That's good. It's actually very good. <gasps> We've tamed the turkey! Turkey 1! Turkey 1 needs a name! You are no longer Turkey 1, my friend. Turkey 1, you are brand new. Mm -hmm. Um... You are Carag... Caragai. You are the turkey called Caragai. I've spelled that wrong. Caragai. There we go. Turkey, you are you are just tamed, that is all. We can't do anything other than have you have you be a source of eggs, really. Um, that's gonna be your one job is just to you know lay eggs, I guess, and then we can use those eggs for food. Um, that's the hope at least. Let's um let's drop down a turkey sleeping spot in the corner of the uh, the intern area. Oh, Sylvester, thank you for your donation. Dropping in to say happy birthday, Spiff. Premium tears on me. Save the organs. Thank you very much, Sylvester. It's very generous of you. And thank you very much for all of you who have liked the stream as well. It's very, very loving of you. Very, very kind. Ah, I, you know, our actual colony is actually up and running and looking happy. They're not devastatingly sad. I realise we should probably also... um. Maybe have like a, a area where we fight people. We could do with maybe some defenses. Um, security is always a good idea. Although at the moment we don't have turrets researched. So we can't really do much beyond um, nothing really. Yeah, we really should get gun turrets eventually. But we need uh, smithing for that. So bam, smithing. Let's get smithing. Oh, noble apparel would be fun as well. Drug production is always good. Hydroponics is fun. Because hydroponic tea is very good. Sterile materials. Hmm. What's this? Sheep join? A group of sheep have wandered into the area. They seem accustomed to human contact have joined. We've got four sheep. Sheep. We need to name four goddamn sheeps. My god, look at them. Right, let's all set them to uh, area one. Actually, no. Labrador is unrestricted. But that's amazing. A whole bunch of sheeps. Oh my god. Right, well these all need names. Congratulations, Sylvester. You just donated, but you're also now a sheep. Um, you're Sylvester the sheep. Sylvester the sheep. Oh no. So just Sylvester then, fine. And then another you over here needs a name. This you can be called um, YouTube chat. There we go. YouTube chat. Now in physical form. We need a ram here. Uh, we're going to have Zelvara. Selvara the sheep. Congratulations. One last ram. I'm gonna name this after someone in chat. Who wants to be a, who wants to be a sheep chat? Okay, I haven't pulled names from chat other than the YouTube chat sheep, so 
What would you like to be? Who's that? Iron Jelly wants to be one. Iron Jelly, congratulations, you're a sheep, my dude. Iron Jelly. Well done. Iron Jelly. Ah, welcome sheep. Now, sheep are brilliant because they grow wool, which we can then harvest. The only downside is they will basically just walk around everywhere. Oh, what's this? Oh, visitors. Yeah, send them away. We don't have guest beds. Shoo. Shoo. No visitors. What we could do with is actually claiming all of this, and I think we could probably build this up. Um, I think with some proper wooden walls, we could get a nice, like, um, maybe throne room or entertainment guest space built here. Um, this would all need to be mined out, of course. So actually, let me, um, let, let me order that. So all of this gets mined. Um, all of this trash needs to get hauled. Um, all of these plants need to be cut. But if we can build this up, this is a good room we have here. All right, how's your your bedroom's decent? Do you want it to be bigger or something? Do you need a bigger bedroom? Is that what it is? We can give you a bigger bedroom if you really like. Just a not much bigger, but like we can give you this additional corner of bedroom, which we can uh, add. I don't know limestone floors to. Build a guest bed to encourage visitors, then harvest them. Okay, right, you've got it. You've got it. That is actually very good shout chat. Right, let's um get a get a wooden bed set up over here. For the visitors, of course. Visitors quote unquote, because they never leave. Do 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 do. So yeah, this will be the visitor um enjoyment centre where the visitors will come and stay, and then we will of course murder them and uh, harvest their organs. <laughs> Let's deconstruct that wall because we don't need it. And you can be deconstructed as well as steel columns. What is this? Ship to the stars? Oh, right. Yeah, we're not doing that. We're not going over to a ship to the stars. Dismiss that quest. What rubbish. <sighs> name him Bobbert. Bobbert is a good name. We don't have anything to name Bobbert, but the next thing we can name Matthew Cazelle, I will name Bobbert. Maybe we could even tame a guinea pig. <laughs> uh, actually, I'm interested if we can go and tame one of these turkeys. Because these, if we can, if we can actually properly tame a couple of these turkeys, then we are in a really good stead um, for like steady food production over the winter. Right, was he convinced? Convinced the turkey failed. Forty-five percent chance. Nice. Well, we'll come back tomorrow and try and tame the turkey. Oh no! What's this? Oh, there's an ancient danger inside here. Right, okay. So there's something bad inside these walls and we're not gonna mess about with it. That's okay. We know it's in there. Why is there vomit on the floor here? God damn it. The animals wandered in here or something and made a mess? Because now the bedroom's awful. <laughs> oh, we've made a mess. How's Mantis doing? Are you are you broken yet? 20.4. Right, we're getting close. Happy birthday, Smith. Here's to another year of your hilarious videos. Thank you very much. And uh, Stone G, uh, JJ Stay giving 100 W, 10,000 W currency. No idea what that is. Oh, it's it's Korean, is it? Right, happy birthday, Smith. Please note that many Korean viewers are eager to share your videos, but due to the language barrier, it's quite hard to share. Is it okay to make Korean subtitles on your video? It is. You can make community subtitles, and I get a notification whenever they're done, and I, um, I basically skim them over, and if they're good, then I approve them. So yeah, um, you, I do accept community contributions. You're just gonna have to submit them yourself. Um, thank you very much as well to uh, Philippe Olivers and Ditch Boy, um, and also Michel E. Thank you very much. He doesn't like his room because it's dirty. Uh, let slaves into the room to clean. Don't worry, I've already enabled that. Um, they can. Another $10 for saying my name right the first time. That's the first ever. It's okay, Matthew Gazelle. I'm, I'm Giselle? G Gazelli? Okay, it's lost. It's I've lost it now. Matt, okay, it's all gone. Everything's gone wrong. Oh. Hey Connor, how are you doing in chat? Having a nice day? Nice fun day off? Oh, I realise I've got a Kinder Bueno next to me that I haven't even eaten yet. Oh, was that, were the two sheepies there? 
were they having fun? Log, show all, no. I saw love hearts between the sheeps. Are there baby sheeps on the way? Do we have baby sheeps to worry about? I mean, that's more sheeps to feed, but that's okay. We can manage with baby sheeps. Apparently you've lost your left eye and you're also going deaf. So that's fine, Sylvester sheep. What about Zalvaro? Are you okay? You're fine. YouTube chat is fine and Iron Jelly is fine. Lovely. All right, let's get some more plants down. Uh, let's get a nice stockpile zone down here. And we'll uh, make this one rice just so that it grows nice and quickly. And that, that rice will really help us uh, maintain feeding these uh, most of these animals because animals are great but they do consume food very quickly. Kieran Curtis, thank you very much. 20 pounds to say that I'm amazing. Thank you. You're amazing as too. You're amazing as well, my dude. Thank you. Mm. What is this? Human meat has rotted away in storage? Oh. That's not good at all. That's not good. I guess um, it's hard to maintain the cool in this room because people keep going in and out. I really need to set up like an airlock system. Or an auto door would be good, but we don't have that technology yet. For the time being, let me instead create the most inefficient way of doing it and just having another cooler added. Oh no, that needs to be built quickly. That needs to be built very quickly. Wusty, 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 wusty. Please build that. Build that fast. Good stuff. And cool. Hmm. There we go. Uh, do double wall and airlock will make your freezer work. Oh, is in like two doors. I see. I see. Now, I suppose that's one way of doing it, but I'm lazy, so I've just added two freezers instead. That makes much more sense. Where are the sheep sleeping? The sheep are just sleeping a little bit all over. <laughs> oh. Sadly, sheep can't be trained, but they, they exist, and so they provide wool and so on, which is good. Why is YouTube chat sleeping in Worcester's bedroom? Don't you know whose bed that is? That is not yours, okay? Oh. Do, I, do I need to add more? Um... Animal sleeping spots. I'll have some sleep over here in the main area. Hmm. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, these berry bushes are ready. Oh no. What is this? A new quest is available. It's called Paid Heatwave. What is this? Estriva, a duchess of the Shattered Empire, wants you wants to perform a low power test of one of her ships' area attack weapons. If she does, the heat wave will bake the area around Animal Farm for 6.5 days, harming crops and possibly killing people um, or animals in uncooled areas. Since you are a local landholder under Imperial law, Aventure needs your honourable permission to proceed. What the fuck? <laughs> what the hell do we do? There's another chain shotgun masterwork here, ladies and gentlemen. As well as a side trainer to make people invisible. What we could just make we could just make Wusty invisible. I'm sorry, but what the actual hell? We're just gonna have a 6.5 days of a terrible heat wave is really rough chat just so you know like that is difficult to deal with maybe we can do it do you reckon we can do it top option oh, yeah i think the top option is good because we get an excellent marble sculpture and um that side trainer will be brilliant super easy fine let's do it let's do it let's give worsty invisibility powers it's heat wave time and some pods have arrived. Oh, we actually get them already. <gasps> nice. Oh, get both of these on. Right, Worsty. Whack on your, um... Uh, Worsty already knows invisibility. Does he? He knows invisibility? Oh, but he doesn't have a high enough side level. I see, that makes sense. Right, I guess someone else gets to learn invisibility then. 
Um, let's install this ma magnificent sculpture in Woosty's bedroom so that he's happy. Um, all right, cooler guy, you can have invisibility. Oh, actually, you need a neural link. Okay, fine. Well, we've just got an item we can't use then. <sighs> and now it's heat wave time. So animals need to be kept in the cool. Um, and actually, I think it would probably be a good idea if we added a cooler into this room. Just to keep it nice and chilly. And we have most of the animals uh, go in between these two areas. Heat stroke. Who? Cooler guys have immediately already got heat stroke. God damn it. I prioritize building that. Right, and yep, get it built. Get it built quickly and get this area cooled down. We need everywhere to be chilly, nice and chilly. And then Wusty, you need to also prioritize working on this one. I reckon we might need more power for this. So um, I'm gonna preemptively get another wind turbine up and running. Wind turbine two. And then also Wusty, I realize you also don't even have one for your own bedroom. Was it smithing? Oh build uh okay we can now do smithing cool that's great All right now let's add a cooler um uh like so yeah this will be good don't have enough components so let's actually cancel that entirely autumn don't destroy that wall we're gonna have to use a um we're gonna have to use a passive cooler instead which isn't anywhere near as efficient but it's basically the only way we can keep the temperature down Anyway, there we go, right, I think we're maintaining, oh my god, everyone's got a heat stroke. Go lie down, go sleep in cool places, okay? No more heat stroke. Stop it with the heat stroke. Bus, don't go outside, okay? You will get heat stroke. <laughs> oh. oh my goodness. Chief Zab donates ten dollars. Say those human right violation numbers are low. You've got to pump them up. Yep, we'll do that. Thank you, Megan, for the five dollars as well. You're a long time watcher, first time donor. Thank you very much. All oh, visitors have arrived, uh, but they are scared because they are. They, we have no guest beds, but don't worry, you may come. We have no guest beds. You're right. We need more guest beds. Why don't we have wood? We need wood. Is what we need. Um, orders. Chop wood. Chop all of this wood. Get this wood chopped. Chop every bit of wood. All the wood need oh my god, that's a whole bunch of visitors. Um, let's uh, give them some sleeping spots in here. Around around here, I think, we'll do. Actually, for the time being, we can we can convert this room into a guest room for the time being. It's going to be cramped, but that's okay. Uh, it's not for medical; it's for guests. Everything is for guests. There we go. Bam, 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 and bam. There we go. What is this? Oh, we can increase the fee of guests for renting beds. It'll have zero mood effect. Oh, wow. I like this. We can charge people to stay on beds. That's amazing. I didn't know we can now become inns. Cooler guy has an enhanced creativity, so he can... Any art or furniture they create will be higher. Okay, two levels higher. Cooler guy, can you make this bed? You're not assigned to construction. Cooler guy, what are you assigned to? You're terrible at everything. Right, you can do construction now. Build this bed. Make the best bed in the entire known universe. Ta-da, it's an excellent bed. Oh, that's brilliant. That's Guests will love that. Let's charge for that. <laughs> Uh, has everyone got heat stroke? Everyone appears to have heat stroke. Not enough guest beds by free. We've got guest beds. Oh, I realize we need to unlock these doors. Uh, let's lock and unlock. There we go. So these aren't locked anymore. Guests, you may now come through. We're terribly sorry about that. That Yeah, that does make sense. We need, um, we need to make sure that the guests stay outside um, of the, the working slave area. Otherwise, we'd have an issue. Oh my goodness, what a what a lovely setup we now have. <laughs> Minor break risk for Wusty. Oh no, Wusty's trapped in a goddamn box. Wusty, deconstruct, deconstruct this. I'm just expanding your bedroom. I'm trying to make it better. It's an impressive bedroom now. It's impressive. 
Look, Wisty, do you like your bedroom? Does that make you happy? Impressive bedroom, plus five, yes! He feels free in his expensive bedroom. Oh, we've done it. Jeff the Pig 06 says, you should eat me, I'm delicious. Happy birthday, Spiff, don't spend it all in one place. Thank you very much, Matthew Gazelle. Um, you've been very, very generous this stream. Thank you. Um, I'll make sure to try and not spend it all in one place. I'll have a nice, uh, relaxing time with it. Ah, are you guys having fun? You're relaxing socially, my visitors. Having fun? There's, um, how many of you are there? There's four of you. Um, which would make you quite difficult to try and attack because you have a machine pistol, you have a knife, you have Molotov, so you'd burn everything down, and you have a shotgun. Okay, we can't fight these people. Uh, they are too powerful. Way too, too powerful and too spooky. Why are they eating food off of our nice bedroom? Okay, Wusty is busy. Is Wusty, Wusty, what are you doing? Wusty. Steve Jones exchanged ideas of sexual morality with Wusty. <laughs> oh my god, Wusty. Oh. <laughs> He's upset that he slept in the heat though, so we need to get that. Um, we need to prioritize building that because otherwise Wusty might get heat stroke to add to his existing Alzheimer's. Um, although his Alzheimer's is kind of hopefully offset by his Psylink. Autumn, could we have you build these? Okay, you're not assigned to construction. Cooler guy, could we have you build these? If we could get all these walls built, that would be amazing. No, cooler guy, I'm pretty sure it would make more sense if you did less cleaning and more construction. Okay. Miserable slaves. Blue bus, there's no need to be sad. Okay, it's a happy time. Oh, I see why. You haven't eaten cake in a long time. Oh, wow, you are so going to try and make a run for it. Right, we need to close up these doors. Or just close up the exits and soon. Perfect. There we go. Although technically the guests now can't leave. Tortoise is self-tamed. Tortoise One, welcome Tortoise One. You are brand new Tortoise. Congratulations. You are named after our lovely friends. Our lovely friend. Who wanted the next animal? It was Kieran who wanted the next one. But then we also need to add Matthew. But Kieran, Curtis, welcome. You are now here in tortoise form. Tortoises, unlike sheep, can be trained to attack. You can have your very own attack tortoise. Which why the hell not? Yeah, let's have a let's have an attack tortoise. He's got very aggressive nibbling abilities, I guess. Um all right, let's disable this for guests and make it medical. Um and let's also claim oh, let's also Add power, make power circuits here and here, and oh my god, this box is just horrible. This is going to give you heat stroke right here. Oh wow, well that's fine, we don't have to worry about it. And we're just going to need a standing lamp, making this room nice and bright for everyone to enjoy. Look at that, that's perfect. Alright, now let's, uh, let's undo the lock on this door, probably. We need to make it so that Bus basically can't escape. Because um, at the moment they're not happy at all. They're very, very upset. Oh, actually, no, you're comfortable now. Good, 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 good. Is this door locked? No, it's not. Oh my goodness, YouTube chat is pregnant. Chat, you're pregnant. Oh my god, chat. Chat. Why are you guys saying F? Poor Bobbert. Attack Tortoise will fight for the tea. Why are you saying poor Bobbert? What has gone wrong? But chat, you are pregnant. I'm so proud. Oh. <laughs> are they, is anyone passing up from heat stroke? Is that what's happening? Have we had animals pass up from... There's a party. Wusty is throwing a party and everyone's invited. Everyone who attends will be happy. Wusty, you go. You and your party friends... And let's give you some more wooden chairs as well. It looks like you could really use some. And um, let's also have some more wood chopped. Because uh, we, we really need some more wood chopped. But my goodness, welcome to Wusty's party. It's going to be great. Everyone's going to love it. Everyone's welcome. Um, potato has died from rot. Well, that's fine. You know what? I'm, I'm even going to fix that zone. Okay. Shrink zone. Bam. Are you happy? You're happy now. 
I've shrunk the potato zone. How are you doing, doggo? Are you do you do dogs get heat stroke? Do sheep get heat stroke? Sheeps do not get heat stroke, apparently. But they do transmit dirt everywhere. Hmm. Also, oh, temporarily, I need to lock... Actually, no, I don't need to lock this. I need to unlock this uh, temporarily. Uh, just so that um, uh, we don't have... Uh, well, we need the guests to leave, basically. Oh, what's this? So, they um, they expected more from me. Score of five. They'll visit again in a few days. Uh, but they left some alpaca wool. So, that's fine. Basically, we want more guests to be uh, happy. Where are you going? You're moving. Oh, my God. You're trying to escape, aren't you? Draft. And Worsty, draft, bus is trying to escape, shackle, try to arrest, you are going for the escape, I know you are, arrest, go, yeah, nice try, nice try, bus, I see what you like, yeah, we're locking this door again, bus, 11 out of 10, <laughs> escape attempt was made, <laughs> but I'm not letting you leave, not ever, ah, right, Worsty, you are now free. Well, free to do whatever you like. Same for you, um, cooler guy. Nice try, bus. Nice try. Okay, so what we're going to do, we're going to deconstruct all of this. Um, nice and simply. And then we've got our guest bedroom set up over here. And we'll need to lock access to this. Um, and make it so that everyone but uh, bus can get through. And then we'll need to have like an, an entrance for... Um, well, kind of like a, an area for them to enter as well. So they can basically enter, they can enter this box and we can keep them here and we can treat them to stuff. But Bus can't enter and try and escape. Oh, thank you very much for the 500 sec Neo Zyborg. That is very, very, very generous. Um, one cool guy says, Spiff, but what if I do more stabbing than everything else? Look, you, you do so much stabbing already. Um, Kelzar donates 50 Danish coins to have a sip of tea on oh, me. I will do. Hmm. Hmm. Thank you, Jesse Nixon, for your donation from Convict Island as well. Um, a happy birthday, you war criminal. Thank you, Julian. Uh, Julie Ann Quimby, turning into a, a sadistic Stardew Valley. Uh, thanks to all of the gold. No problem. I'm happy to help. Um, oh. Now, this construction is just going great. We've got this entire operation up and running in a very short period of time. Oh, what's this? Medical emergency. Mantis. What's gone wrong? Heat stroke extreme. Why is this not cool? Why are you... Oh, we've got a torch in here. Deconstruct the torch. Get rid of that torch immediately. Prioritize deconstruction of the torch. All right, let's cool this room down. Oh, my God. No wonder. Mantis, I am so sorry, Mantis. Oh, my God. You are... Oh, you poor, poor sausage. You poor, poor sausage. <laughs> oh, please don't die from this. Oh, God. All right, it is... Kind of cooling down, but just to double check, I'm going to add another cooler just here, just so that we can be certain. Do I even have enough components for this? Probably don't, do I? All right, we're going to need to harvest some components. All right, deconstruct the ship chunk and mine this and mine this. There we go. These are important things that need to be done. We need to mine all of this up. Oh my god. Link says, if Cooler Guy tries to escape again, he should lose his living privileges. <laughs> Cooler Guy isn't the one trying to escape. It's all Bus 62 is trying to escape. Um, yeah. But yes, we could we could remove Bus 62's living privileges. Or at the very least, we could temporarily remove their um, their ability to breathe. Um, that's always fun. But you know what? We can even do better. We can remove their happy privileges. Um <laughs> It's anything's possible in RimWorld. It really is. I see you donates 1,500 it to say, when you put me in, can I become uh, maybe the daughter of Wusty and Cooler Guy? That's possible. What's this, a deserter? Oh, a new quest deserter. So what's this? A disgraced officer is calling from nearby. He deserted the army of the Shattered Empire and is being hunted by a loyalty squad. He wishes to join Animal Farm. Um, he knows how to basically make Silink stuff, but if we join, we'd be at war with the Shattered Empire, which would basically be impossible. And we don't know what he's like, so we're definitely going to not agree to that. Um, as fun as a new member is, that would be a terrible idea. 
Why are you breaking? Okay, right, we're getting our components, good. Right, Worsty, prioritize building the, uh, the cooler. Right, go grab some components as well. This is medical emergency. Mantis, are you still a medical emergency? Are you still dying of heat stroke? How close are you to death? Heat stroke extreme. 75%. Okay, 76%. Right, we need to get just just get the temperature down. Get the temperature down nice and quickly. Right, get it nice and down. Right, cool down this space. Chill it out. Chill out this space. There we go. We're down to 35, 34. There we go. That's that's achievable temperatures, right? You're not going to get a heat stroke from that. There we go. Now down to 20. Oh, lovely. Oh, nation of Mixos is raiding. They bring a bow and some guy who is addicted to smoke leaf. Um, oh no, they bring two people. One guy who has a knife and one guy who has a bow. Right, well, let's uh, get the men ready. Uh, so we need Autumn has a club. Okay, right. Autumn, grab a gun instead, please. Uh, grab the bolt action rifle. Uh, we'll need, we need Steve, Steve Jones, the inventor, because they have the, uh, they have the very important taser. We'll need Wusty because he has the, um, he is the sniper. Actually, they're not attacking yet, actually, so we can, um, they can still mess about for a while. Happy birthday, my dude. Thank you very much, the 360 squad. Alright, Mantis, are you chilled now? Are you not going to die from heat stroke? You're at 79%. Nice, so I guess we just have to wait for you to cool down. I suppose we could temporarily like just move you or your bed into the freezer or something. I'll nicely chill you out. We don't need a research project. Um, there's a whole bunch of steel here on the floor that we didn't pick up. That is an issue. We definitely need that. Autumn, are you going all the way over to pick up that steel? Yes, you are. Right, we're no longer... You're not doing that because they're coming to attack us now. Right, so I want you there. I want cooler guy hanging around this corner ready to run on out and stab them. I want Worsty hanging back here. And I want Steve Jones with the most important job of zapping people with a taser. Right, let's go. Let's go, everyone. Mm -hmm. Okay, now, the hope is that we can tase as many of them as possible, um, but if we need to kill the bowman, then we need to kill the bowman. Uh, because a bow is a dangerous weapon. Preferably, though, we wouldn't uh, have to kill them. All right, Worsty's, Worsty's about to open his shot, ladies and gentlemen. This is it, chat. This is it. Oh, we've got some battle music as well. Or oh, is this it? Oh. Or is this it? Oh yes, it's battle music time. I'm so good at stream production, you can tell. You can tell. Right, let's go. Go Steve Jones. First shot, good hit. The sniper has lost his left hand. Death in 10 hours. Good first tase. Right, let's try and pull back. I want the tase to try and get some more. Steve Jones, actually try and hit your shots. Uh, men, group up, firing line. Steve Jones, get out of there. Get out of there, Steve Jones. Run, Steve Jones. Run! Do not shoot Steve Jones! Steve Jones! Fuck's sake, Autumn! <laughs> you hit Steve Jones' spinal cord! His spinal column, goddammit! Oh my god, Autumn! Kill, kill him! Call a guy, run in. Go. Autumn, get out of there. Get out of there, Autumn. We're Steve. Okay, we've downed one. We've got one down. We can save that. And we've murdered the other one. Okay. God damn it. Cooler guy, capture. Uh, Worsty, rescue. Autumn, eat your goddamn happy sandwich. We are finally once and for all neutering you as soon as we get back. As soon as we get back, you are losing your penis privilege. Okay? The panakin is getting removed. God, my God. God damn it, Autumn. You had one job, and that one job was not to shoot Steve Jones in the spinal column. Just don't do that. Stop it. <laughs> oh, God. All right, are they safe? Oh, Rego is about to die. Right, can we prioritize tending them, please? I do not want to lose a, uh, some random. All right, grab, grab, grab. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Death in 0.9 hours. Come on. Heal him up. Heal him up. Come on, Wusty. 0.7 hours. Heal him up. 
Heal them up, Wusty. This is good organs. Good, tasty organs. That's the good stuff. Oh. Right. They have lost their left hand and their left leg. But this honestly matters little. We've done it. And Sylvester is pregnant. Oh. There we go, chat. That's enough of the epic music. <laughs> but we did it. We actually managed to survive. Just. Um, make Wusty priority one doctor. Yeah, we really should. Wusty, you're priority one medic now. Um, someone needs to actually do it. Oh my god. Oh, two medical emergencies in here. Mantis, are you going to dive heat stroke yet? No, good. The heat stroke is going down. Lovely. You can now walk again. How long is the heat wave for? It's lasted 4.6 days. So only another day and a bit, and then we're done. And we've got, luckily, we do have um, a, a captive who we can now. Um, we can now turn into cake. Okay, so that's that's at least a bonus. Autumn donates to say, please don't steal my PP away. I promise to do better next time, Pappy. I'm sorry, Autumn. You've you've let me down one time too many. Um, you know what happens now. You know what comes now. <laughs> Steve Jones will live. He will live. Don't worry. Um, oh no, he's not. He's dying in two hours. Holy shit, he's not. Uh, uh, Proto standing. <laughs> Thank you, chat. I would have accidentally killed Steve Jones if it wasn't for you. Steve Jones, we need you to live. You might not be able to walk very well after this because Autumn fired something into your goddamn spinal column. But you will at least live, in the very least. Oh my god, right, there we go. You're alive. You're gonna live. You're just gonna be very, very pain in pain. Like, oh my god. Bus, what are you currently doing? Are you... Oh, quipped about cards. Autumn, okay, you're talking to Autumn about cards. Wusty insulted Bus's open-mindedness. Okay, so Wusty is just walking around shading people in the colony. Um, <laughs> oh. Apparently Mantis has really good opinions of, um, of Wusty. Like, Mantis has plus 100%. They are friends for life, which is quite adorable. All right, can we get that person butchered? Call a guy. Are you able to butcher people? No, you're not assigned to cooking. Great. Who? The only person assigned to cooking, I'm guessing, is Autumn? Or is it? No, it's Call a guy. No, it's Steve Jones, sorry. And Steve Jones, card. What is this? Transport pod crash. Paolo is not a, affiliated with anyone, so he's a, a free person we can harvest from. It's Paolo Dude. Paolo Dude. My dude. Um, he is a dreaded dude. And a dreaded baby, but now he's a dreaded dude. Okay. A dude of dread. Uh, let's quickly rescue him and harvest his organs. Call a guy. Capture, please. Do, 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 do. Let's capture him, bring him back to the colony, and steal his lungs. Yeah, that's what we do in Spivko land. We steal the lungs, and we turn them into cake. Ah. <sighs> Must are you still sleeping? Can I get you to go and tame those turkeys, please? Like, I'm noticing you haven't gone out of your way to tame the turkeys in quite a while. And I just I just want them tamed, you know? Where's the wildlife turkeys? Where The turkeys are gone. Oh, they've walked off the goddamn side of the map. So we've only got one female turkey now. I suppose that's something. <sighs> anyway, YouTube chat. How's your pregnancy doing? Pregnant, middle stage of pregnancy. Great job, YouTube chat. You're going to be a mother. Are you excited to be a mother, YouTube chat? Are you ready for this? Replace the leg? Oh yeah, Paolo is going to need a, a leg replaced. Um, so we're going to need to add stool, add bill. Um, oh no, not Paolo. Is it Autumn? No, Autumn's fine. It's Rego. Rego is missing a leg. Um, right, let us install... Uh, it's right leg, isn't it? No, it's left leg. Well, they can have a peg leg on the right leg as well. Let's go left leg and right leg. That way they'll be able, they won't be able to run away as easily. Um, and that's that's always good. But we've got three prisoners now. This is the most prisoners we've ever had you know, over like a short period of time. We just need to get their resistance down and then we're, we're good to go. I wonder if it's a good idea to like knock through here and just give them a temporarily really big prisoner barracks. Because that will make them, um, will make them happy. 
Hmm. I'm not sure. Probably not. That's probably not a good idea. Finally, peg legs. Yes, I know. Uh, Forrest Armstrong says, can you surgically remove Steve Jones' spine? Uh, can you surgically replace Steve Jones' spine with the spine of a prisoner? Uh, you can if I had more mods, but I'm afraid I don't. Autumn is starving. Autumn, get yourself some food. Eat some food. Oh, you haven't had your, um... You never had your, um, actual operation done. Well, Steve, why haven't you done the operation? I suppose you're busy healing people. But still, come on. Do the operation. Autumn needs to have his, um... Oh... Catastrophically failed while trying to install a peg leg on the left leg. Oh, they're dead in two hours. Right, Worcester, heal up that patient, actually. Prioritize tending them. Rego, please don't die. Your organs are valuable, uh, but now your whole body is in the process of extreme blood loss. Oh, good God. <laughs> yeah, it turns out it's difficult. Oh, we accidentally tore off their reproductive organs whilst trying to install a peg leg. Um, that's okay. That's fine. <laughs> right, tend on tend autumn. Remove his, remove his panakin. Okay. We need it to happen. All right, removed and it failed. Catastrophically failed. You cut it. You you just stabbed his torso. That's not where it is, Wusty. Okay. Please, can you just learn about the human body just a little bit? You got fourteen medical. You should be able to remove a, a panakin. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Rego might be missing their left arm and left leg, but at the end of the day, they'll be all right. Yeah, they'll be fine. Chat, it, they'll be good. Surgeon with shaking, shaky hands, yeah. Worcester is really bad at this whole medicine thing. Really, they just weren't built for medicine, it turns out. Um, very unexpected. Oh, my God. Poor Steve Jones. You at least doing good? Have you got your food? Are you doing fine? You're in intense pain in an awful hospital. This is an okay hospital. Oh, it is actually awful. All of these, all of this, the bedrooms are awful as well. Right, let's give them an end table and a dresser. How's that? You get an end table and you get a dresser. Look at that. I'm generous. So generous. And this uh, barracks is also awful as well. Yeah, that is an issue. Wait, where is bus? Where is bus at? Our bus is down here, harvesting, no, planting potatoes. Right, I was wondering, because they're a night owl, yeah, they're basically doing potatoes all, all the time. Oh, Autumn can now walk. Right. As soon as the anaesthetic... Autumn, I'm pretty sure... Is this the second time I've tried to remove your, your uh, new to you? Or was that someone else? Did I try new to someone else? Am I mixing up the people who I've attempted to new to? Right, you need to be... Um, you need to have your resistance reduced. And same for you, you need to have your resistance reduced, um, which is good. Paolo is going to be easy to recruit. Mantis, uh, Rigo, less so. But uh, Mantis is pretty close to actually uh, being recruited as well. 1.21 resistance remaining. I think maybe if we kind of expand out this, um, uh, this area a bit. Oh, is this berserk? Mantis. Mantis has gone berserk. Final straw was starvation. Mantis. God damn it. Don't, don't shoot. Do not shoot. Melee, melee attack. Melee attack Mantis. Do not shoot Mantis. Do not shoot Mantis. Do not shoot. Oh God, we're gonna need a, uh, who's got the taser? Steve Jones, but where's the taser? Where's the taser? Steve Jones? What, what are you doing? Are you putting your hauling stuff? Steve Jones, grab the taser. Grab the taser, Steve Jones. This is of critical importance. Worcester is currently in a one-on-one -on -one fisticuffs fight. Autumn, can you help? No, you can't. Yes, you can. Come here and melee attack. Come on. Mantis, pipe down. Behave. We've destroyed his left second toe. Right, Worcester, are you doing okay? Yeah, you're just getting punched a bit. There we go. We got him. We got him, guys. Oh, back to work. Back to work. Oh, my God. Um... They're both going to need to be captured, though, actually, I realise. Paolo, how are you doing? You're doing fine, Paolo. You're not that happy, though, uh, because you were just massively assaulted by uh, Mantis. God damn it, Mantis. Who's a medical emergency? Rigo, are you a medical emergency? Blood loss extreme. Oh, and install peg leg. Yeah, let's not install that peg leg just yet. Um, 
And also let's, uh, disease infection. Oh no, Rigo's got an infection. That'll be fine. We can, we can sort that out. Um, for the time being, I think we, um, let's, let's just temporarily, okay, very temporarily, let us deconstruct this wall here and make this the prisoner barracks, okay? It gives them space to room, roam around in, um, gives them an excellent bed that they can actually sit on, and it will make the recruitment of them uh, much easier. There we go. Paolo, Paolo dude is no longer incapable of walking. Nice. Oh, when performing surgery, you need light. Oh, that would explain why it's so hard to perform surgery in a pitch black room with prisoners. Uh, you know, that makes sense, chat. That really does make sense. Oh, that makes so much sense. Wow, why didn't I think about it like that? Oh, you're praying. You're not praying, you're deconstructing this wall. Okay, I want a nice big, there we go. Look at that. Now you've got an awful barracks instead of just a hideously awful barracks. And the heat wave is over. Oh my God, thank God. Thank God the heat wave is done. Heat wave is done. Everyone can be happy. Except these people, they're probably not very happy. Spacious interior, there you go. That's all you need. Good bit of spacious interior. Plus seven human rights violations, very well. Plus seven human rights violations it is. Uh, we go from 19 to, no, I'm, I'm gonna add some, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go to 28. Oh, 29, okay, we're doing 29 human rights violations now. That's how many we have. Do, 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 bam, bam. Oh, Autumn, are you, are you awake yet? Why are you just lying here? Just because of the anesthetic? Oh, just get up and work, Autumn. Ooh, quest available, deadly beast, this sounds fun. Um. Scouting recently lost a the shattered empire lost. Oh, what's this? Bus is escaping. God damn it, bus! Okay, everyone, everyone, capture them. This door was meant to be locked. It was. Oh, she got out through the prisoner door. Through the. This was locked as well. Oh. Just Bastard, you got out. Right, this is it. This is it. Chase, 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 chase him. Chase him down. Wusty, I'm going to need you to be the fastest as well. Okay. All right. It, like, we're okay um, once... Okay, there we go. Once... Uh, it, they can catch up, so that's okay. What, what's... You're in restraints, okay, so you're slowed. That makes it easier. Oh, and you've gone berserk. You've gone berserk. Do not shoot. Do not shoot. No. No, have Steve Jones shoot. You are not the one going to be doing the shooting. There we go. Tase him. Fantastic. Lower that consciousness. No, Autumn. Autumn, no! <laughs> Please don't hit. Oh, God damn it, Autumn. Alright, Autumn, melee attack. Cooler guy, don't melee attack. Worsty, you can melee attack. Oh my God. There we go. We're getting them. We're getting them. And we got them down. Lovely stuff. Oh my god. Autumn, we got very close there for, to you murdering yet another prisoner, okay? Autumn isn't a man. Oh, you're right! Autumn doesn't have a penis. <laughs> the more you know, chat, the more you know. Truly amazing. Absolutely amazing. Oh, wow. Let's also add in a, uh, a wooden wall here and here, just because I want to remove that wooden door. Oh my. You've made a real mess there, okay? Um, by trying to escape bus. A real mess. This is medical emergency. Mantis, what's up, Mantis? Malnutrition? God damn it, is, is no one looking after the... You're not as... No, no, prioritize feeding. Feeding. Feed the prisoners. Look, I understand you want to... Oh, you you apparently Wusty is dying in like a short time, right? Can I? Yeah, you can do self tend. Uh, self tend yourself. Oh my god. Yeah, you're fine now. You've only got minor malnutrition, Mantis. It's okay. <sighs> oh, and uh, all of the goddamn animals eating the tea crops. Is that why we haven't had a single harvest of tea yet? It's all just getting eaten. <laughs> Oh, goodness. 
Medical emergency Riga. What's up? Infection extreme. Have we not been tending this? Have we not been tending the infection? I prioritize feeding them, and then we'll prioritize tending them. What a mess. This is... Uh, this is there's a lot of additional human rights violations going on here. Uh, we're not feeding prisoners. Uh, we're not medically tending prisoners. Okay, and you're going to tend to her. Okay, good. Uh, Rigo might not survive this, so we need to make a judgment call. Because the issue is, if they don't survive the infection... Um, oh my god. If they don't survive the infection, and they're at 95% infection, 96 okay. If they don't survive this infection then we can't get their organs. So I'm going to make a preemptive judgment call and say we're going to try and snipe a kidney whilst we can. So Wusty, please try and snipe in there and grab that that, uh, that organ. We need them. Yeah, um, I think it's it just makes sense. Um, your moving and manipulation isn't very good because of your low consciousness, but it's okay. I trust in your ability. You basically, look, you're a doctor who's on a 1,700-hour work shift. Um, shit. <laughs> they died of the infection before we could get the organ out. Rest in peace, um, Rigo the Weaver. We really tried. We really tried. If we hadn't installed that peg leg, yes, you would have survived, but honestly... You win some, you lose some. No light. There is light. Look at that. There's there's some light going on there. That's a bit of light. Chat. It's like shady, okay? It's just shady. Just shade. Oh, no. Paolo's gone berserk again. Jesus Christ, Paolo. Oh, wait. No, it was Mantis who went berserk last time. It's a completely different berserk mood. All right, Steve Jones. Um, I think you know what to do. Open up that doorway. Run on out. And Taze. Nope, open up that doorway. Run on out and taste. You did it! Oh, great job. Good job. Let's capture them again. <laughs> Excellent work, Steve Jones. All right, you need to be having your resistance reduced. Same for you, Paolo. Lovely stuff. Oh my god. Aggressive goes of goods. Um, Smith violating human rights in the name of profit and hilarity. Yes, please. Thank you very much. Your $100 is very. Generous, my friend. Oh, seriously, thank you. Uh, did cool guy end up getting married to Wusty at the end? Are they properly married or no? They're still fiance, right? So they're not. They haven't had their wedding. Um, but yeah, thank you very much, Grisugurus. That's um really, really generous of you. This is an eclipse. Okay, so that basically means if we had solar panels, we couldn't use them. Um, and it also means our crops aren't going to grow very well. But that's okay. These things happen. Oh my goodness, the, the prisoner management situation, it's um, it's really something. <laughs> we, we definitely need this area cleared up. Your mission, uh, should you choose to accept it, uh, lock doors, clean the dirty surgery area and make a new guest area. What do you mean, Forrest Armstrong? You're telling me that I, I need to lock the doors and make a tidy area? Alright, there we go. Let's, let's lock. Door is locked. It's a pet door. Um, and its owners are all of these people. There we go. And same for that door. Great, there we go. Now it's properly locked, I think. I think. Yes, you're properly locked as well. Do I need to actually press the button? I think I might. Yeah, I think I do. I'm a melon. I'm an absolute melon. <laughs> oh, goodness. Right, I think that is properly locked. There we go. There we go. Bus 62. Hey, I'm just harvesting potatoes. You're not harvesting potatoes. You've tried like three escape attempts, maybe four at this point, bus 62. Okay. You're in chat trying to play the play the I'm safe card. I'm just a potato farmer. There's more to you than meets the eye, okay? I know there is. Worsty needs food. Worsty God damn it, get up and get yourself food. No one will come to tend to you. They're, they're lazy sausages. You need to tend to yourself. Do we have anyone who is actually assigned to cleaning as well? Uh, maybe we could have a cooler guy do some cleaning. Oh, what's this? Steel knife? Oh my god, another malnutrition case. Uh, bus 62, what have you got as well? 
You've got a right pinky gunshot. Can we, like, prioritize feeding our prisoners? Okay. God damn it, another dead prisoner! <laughs> Bill asking, where is the scrotal couch? Well, we've got enough human skin at this point that we could make a scrotal couch if that was really a, what you wanted, I guess. Um, Paolo, dude, are you okay as well? Got ma severe malnutrition. Oh my god, Proto's feeding them. Who is not our... Who's not being our... Right, everyone needs to be doing a bit of wardening, okay? It doesn't take a lot of your time to just do a bit of wardening every now and again. It's just a little bit of wardening. You have you have your needs for food, kind of. You have your needs for food. You apparently have good catharsis, Paolo. Okay, great. Scrotum couch. Well, everyone really wants a scrotum couch now. We haven't even... I suppose it is something we can do. Furniture. We can make a scrotal animal bed. Um, the eclipse is ending. Good. Right. A scrotal armchair. <laughs> You've asked for it. And we'll put it in the prisoner area so that they can sit down. We need 100 human lever for this, though. Um, so that's going to require Steve Jones uh, needs to prioritize the butchering table process. Right, let's get as much lever as we can. We've got a chair to make. No, don't consume, actually. That's wrong. Uh, prioritize butchering. There we go. And... Oh, we is this one too far gone? Okay, so we can't... There's no, there's no human flesh to be... Harvested off of that. We've only got 39 human lever, though. I don't think that's enough. Um, well, actually, no. Yep, that is enough. We can do the scrotal couch. The scrotal couch can be made. Oh, my God. Worsty, make it. Make it so. Make it so, Worsty. Make it the greatest scrotal couch in existence. Build it. Build it. This is what they were needing. Not for me to tidy up the flooring area to stop infections. No. This was what we wanted. Is a scrotal couch plus 10 human rights violations? I'm not really sure how the uh, the mathematics of the uh, the scrotal couch kind of comes into play here. Um, there we go, it's almost done. What's this, starvation? Worcester is starving. That's fine, Worcester, you can sort that out once you're done with this. And it is a normal scrotal couch. It is perfect. Oh. Market value 510. It's a piece of art. It's a piece of goddamn art, ladies and gentlemen. Who wouldn't want it? Oh, bus, you're back. Welcome. Welcome. There's crops that need to be harvested. And I'm pretty sure we can harvest some of these tea crops and we will get some tea. There we go. Two bits of tea. Um, and we can actually make this. How much tea do we need? We need... It uh, requires two tea leaves to make tea. And it only takes 12. There we go. We made some tea. It's our first... It's our first Yorkshire tea. It's the first goddamn Yorkshire tea. Chat, this is a celebration. This is a time for celebration. Glorious, glorious support in chat, please. Oh. Plus 10 human rights violation isn't only including the couch. Make them eat the scrotal couch. Plus 10 human rights for that chair. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Look at that. It's tea. It's tea. Worcester, consume Yorkshire tea. Do it. How happy are you? At the moment, you're feeling quite good. You're having a good time. But if we give you some tea, Worcester, how are you going to feel then? Yeah, go take that Worcester tea, uh, that lovely Yorkshire tea, sit down and drink it. Drink that Yorkshire tea. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You just eat the box, packaging and all. Oh, yeah. And you're going to pet Sylvester after. Oh, oh no, you're shearing her. Okay. How was that? Recreationally satisfied? Does the tea not add anything? Um, no. Apparently Yorkshire tea does not add technically any bonuses. I mean, there is, there's two types of Yorkshire tea. There's regular tea, and then there's also um, organic tea. Um, organic tea, I'm not sure what organic tea does. Um, it is basically made of human hearts, uh, which is, you know, organic. Uh, minus 50 human rights violations for Yorkshire tea. Of course, that's how it works. Um, Paolo, how are you doing? As a prisoner, do you need to reduce your resistance? 
Yes, we need to reduce your resistance. That's fine, that can be done. Oh my goodness. What a, what a lovely base we have. Everything's going great. How's uh, Karen Curtis doing? Um, you're doing fine. How are our baby sheeps coming along? Are you doing good? Are you have no, you're Sylvester, middle stage um, of pregnancy. YouTube chat, late stage. YouTube chat, you're, you're close to giving birth, guys. Um, the sheep eating the tea will grow more powerful. Yes, YouTube chat is consuming the tea and using it to become very, very powerful. Um, I think it's time to celebrate the glorious tea by harvesting some organs. Chief Zab, my god. Are you sure? We couldn't possibly harvest some organs, could we? Well, I want the, I want another raid to come by, and then what I'll do is I'll um I'll convert the raiders into um uh yeah, we'll convert the raiders basically. I'll tell you what else we could do. We could make it so that um uh Ambrosia Sprout. A group of Ambrosia have suddenly popped up. Oh no. It's drugs. <laughs> Drugs have arrived. That is not good. Um, I mean, they're valuable. So, yeah, sure, let's have them grow and sell them. Maybe give them to people. It'll make them work better. All right, we could probably also do with um, call a guy prioritizing the cleaning of all of this mess. There we go. Just tidy up just a little bit. Just a little bit, call a guy. Clean up all of this horrific dirt, okay? Just a little bit of... Yeah, clean that up just a bit. Lovely stuff. Oh, look at that. Oh, and fantastic. And you can repair that now. And a combat supply comes by. Perfect. Worsty, come say hi. Make sure to greet them outside of the base. Otherwise, um, we risk uh, them coming inside and realizing what's going on. Uh, especially keep them away from the north where all of the dead people are. Okay, so you want to try and sell me weapons, including a minigun, sniper rifle, incendiary launcher, a great bow, and I can sell you a lung. There we go, have that lung. I can also give you the invisibility side trainer, um, which we might as well, considering we can't use it ourselves. So actually, if I give that to you, yeah, you don't have enough silver to give me anyway. Right, we'll just give you, we'll just give you the lung for the time being. Enjoy that, enjoy your lung. What a lovely trait. Uh, set up a drug policy to force people to drink tea. Oh yes, I can do that, can't I? Is it in the, uh, it's in a sign, isn't it? Yes, drug policy. Yeah, so we can, um, we can do manage drug policies, create a new policy of uh, forced recreation. So, uh, oh, it's not actually included in here. <sighs> tea is not, I guess tea is counted as food rather than a drug. Oh, oh well, that's fine. That's just one of the limitations of the mod. So instead, we use tea for food, not for um, psychological reasons. You know, we should probably get more tea growing as well, because it, it takes a while to grow tea, so let's get another growing zone set up. Bam, big growing zone, and I would like some tea, please. Lovely stuff. How are you doing, Paolo? Are you getting slowly better? Are you feeling like you'd like to join us? You're getting pretty close. What's your biology like? Chemical fascination, nimble and creepy breathing. You're good at cooking and you're good at art. You'll actually be quite good. What's this? Oh no. Worsty is wandering around and is confused because of his Alzheimer's. Worsty? No, Worsty. Please. What does the log say? Oh. Poor Worsty. Worsty's no longer confused. Good. Worsty's back. <laughs> Welcome back, Wusty. Oh. What is this? Maseji donates uh, 25 PLN to say there is no war crime if all evidence is turned into cake and then eaten. Exactly. If you eat the evidence, there is no evidence. Especially if the evidence is tasty. That's why you always want tasty evidence. Chief Zab uh, donates $10 to say, I think it's time to celebrate the glorious tea by harvesting some organs. We'll get round to that. I also realised that's the second time I've read that out. Trade caravans leaving. Good. Jerry G says... It's $20. Thanks for all the entertainment. Thank you, Jerry G, for the donation. Lovely person. Thank you. Oh, so yeah, chat a little bit about where today's donations are probably going to end up going. Um, I'm not sure if all of you are aware, but I recently got myself a corgi. Uh, and, you know, I, I actually haven't shown off the corgi on uh, on YouTube. Let me get a little picture of my corgi. 
because uh, she is just the cutest corgi in the world. Um, and so, yeah, some of the donations will go to the uh, the purchase cost of the corgi. But also, um, I'm, we're looking at getting a house, if you can believe it. I'm actually looking at buying a real-world property. Let me get a corgi picture for you, chat. Do, 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 do. New existing source. It's brilliant. Browse uh, in birthday gifts. There we go. And corgi. There we go. Let me... Oh, just look at this. Look at my little corgi. Look at that. Look at that chat. That's, ain't that the cutest stuff you've ever seen? Look at her. She's so happy. She's one of the cutest little little fluffers I've ever seen. So yeah, we're getting a corgi because um, corgis are so gosh darn cute. They're just beautiful little creatures, really. They're just so wonderful. They got lovely little smiley faces. Um, they're pretty. They're pretty uh, difficult dog. I don't recommend them if you're getting a first getting a dog for the first time. But yeah. That is uh, Georgie the Corgi, um, and she's only two weeks old. Only two weeks old, that little floofer. Ah, uh, yeah, I'm excited. Very excited. One of the Queen's finest, I know, I know. So, yeah, there'll be a lot more dog pics eventually. Oh, what's this? Go Frenzy. Uh, you, she'll move fast. Okay, so cooler guy's just running around at high speed now for the next few days. How fast is increased speed? Um... Movement, 100%, I guess. Moving is okay. I don't know. You seem to be moving quite good. So you can just do some long-ranged hauling or something. I don't know. Maybe you can chop some trees. Have we got enough wood? I'm not aware of... Oh, oh we've got 5,000 wood. Yeah, we're fine for wood. My goodness. Oh, we're good. We've got 162 food as well. Thanks for... Uh, Matthew Gazelle, thank for the corgi. Oh, thank you very much. Uh, Mark Andrew Caron... Gave that good girl a treat. Now I can't, Mark. I don't get to. I don't get to keep the corgi until September because um, she's only two weeks old, meaning she needs to um, grow up and be a big, strong corgi, um, and uh, that will come with uh, you know that will come with time. Uh, we get we get to her in um, September, um, which will be lovely. Um, but yeah, she is absolutely adorable. Thank you, um, uh, Kieran Curtis, as well for ten pounds. That corgi is a beautiful add-on to the T Empire, dear sir. I know, a, a really lovely doggy. FGS Hel Helmet, thank you very much. Happy birthday, congrats on the pup, and good luck with the IRL House and Organ Harvesting Enterprise. Yeah, the IRL House Enterprise is, um, for it's been difficult. Trying to convince an accountant that I'm, I can uh, I can be lent money to is a real challenge, to say the least. <laughs> oh, but it's good fun. It really is good fun. Oh, there we go. We are... Wait, hang on a second. Did... I just see Wusty feed the dog human meat in order to train the dog. That is not a smart idea, Wusty. That is not a, that's not what you want to see. Okay. Oh, what's this? Uh, guests, no guest beds. Send away. We don't have space for guests at the moment. Paolo is using up all of the space. Okay, we need him to be a slave. So we need to reduce that resistance. Use an egg. Oh. Feed the people to the dog. We're not feeding the people to the dog. That's a, a very good idea, Chad, actually. A very, very good idea. Yes. Very good idea. Worsty. You're loving Worsty. Worsty. Oh, you, you sly dog. You seductive sausage. My goodness. <laughs> oh, I do like how, basically, whilst everyone else sleeps, Bus just works permanently at night. Um... What's this? Mark Andrew Caron. Just make more Minecraft streams. You'll get enough money in a year. Uh, the Minecraft streams are good, but they're they're not like um a good reliable money source. Um, because the amount of work that actually goes into doing one of the Minecraft streams and also setting up the server and so on is is so high. Um, it basically kind of negates the uh the, the donations element. Um. So yeah, it's I mean it's good. Like it's a really fun thing to do. I wouldn't not do the Minecraft stuff because it's enjoyable, but it's not something we can do forever because of the amount of stress that it adds to people like say Connor and me because we have like effectively forty thousand people we now need to worry about. And oh my goodness, is it a raid? Three people this time. Okay, this is good. This is a good raid. I like that. Are they attacking immediately? Doesn't look like it. They're um, just wandering around. Good, nice. It's good to see. Or are they attacking immediately? No, nope, they are just loitering. Perfect. Good stuff. Good stuff. That's what I like to see. 
Um, now in terms of defenses, we could probably build some sandbags or something out of sheep wool. Yeah, that would make sense. Let's get some sheep wool sandbags set up uh, here. That'll do. That'll give us some defense. Wisty, do you want to do that? What are you doing? Yeah, you're doing sandbags. Lovely. Yeah, we've also got a second like Patreon server set up and running. Well, not set up and running. Mostly set up and semi-running, but it's not open to the public yet. Oh, they're beginning their assault. Okay, right. Everyone, arm yourselves. Technically, we can um, we can draft a bus to fight for us. The only issue is when fighting for us, they, they might choose to escape, which is a bad idea. Um, so for the time being, they're not joining us for the fight. Now, just to double-check, Autumn has a gun, Wusty has a gun, good, so you can run on out to where my sandbags are meant to be. Uh, cooler guy, you have you have your knife, so you're drafted and ready to go. And finally, Steve Jones, the most important job, you need to go stand over here and taste people. Okay, good luck. You have the most dangerous job, Steve Jones, because you need to basically stand behind a tree and try and convince people that they want to be tased. Um, right, we can probably snipe a couple of them, and... Um, Steve Jones, come on. Yes, good stuff, good stuff. That's a good hit. Okay, Steve Jones, I want you to chase this person down. All right, good job, Steve Jones. Oh, wow, cooler guy, you blocked that. Okay, we knocked... Okay. Uh, Ullabor over here is dead. Um, a sniper rifle shattered them. Great, so let's move our men up and hope that Steve Jones can probably solo this, maybe. Where are you going? Let's stop you trying to get in. Why are you trying to get in? Okay, right, that's fine. We've done enough there. Oh, they're trying to flee. Right, Steve Jones, chase him down. Um, melee attack. Everyone, come uh, melee attack. No, run, 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 run. Good, and then all we need to do is get uh, Wusty. Wusty, psychically, uh, psychically slow them. Don't shoot them. Don't shoot them, God damn it! Melee attack. Melee attack is what we want. Steve Jones, you can actually probably just shoot, now that I think about it. Oh, we did it. Oh my god, we did it. Two people are captured. Oh, brilliant. Capture the cave child and capture the warrior. Don't shoot them, goddammit. Stop shooting them. Capture them. Oh my god. Oh. The fusion warrior donates $50 to say, can you ask the queen to do something about Jeff Bezos? <laughs> I don't think I can. Uh, the decaf Yorkshire tea took forever to arrive when I ordered it. Oh, that's not good. Oh, sorry to hear that. Yeah, I'll have a. I'll slide into Jeff Bezos's DMs and tell him to increase the shipment of Yorkshire tea via Amazon. That's rude. Oh, I can't believe you'd do that. Uh, but thank you very much. Fifty dollars is a huge amount of money. Seriously, thank you very much. Um, all right, how are the prisoners doing? So we got one prisoner here, Gora the Cave Child, who will die in four hours unless we do something. So uh, let's do something. Um. And what about you, Badger? Are you going to die? Death in 21 hours. Less so. Less so. Okay. Right. So we'll get Wusty to, um, we'll get Wusty to tend some of these people. And then I'm thinking, what if we convert them into tea? Just one of them. Okay, chat. Hear me out. Goro here is an undergrounder. They're too smart and they're ugly. They're not going to make for a good slave, sorry, intern, because they are too smart. So, so... We're going to enable temporarily good medication and harvest the heart. I know we can harvest the other organs first, but because they're on such low health, we, we run a risk of harvesting all the other organs that it's easier for us just to harvest one organ here. Okay, right, let's go for it. Let's go for it, Gara. Come on. Cross your fingers, chat. Cross your fingers. Make the cave child into tea. Cave child into tea. Let's go, chat. Let's go. Let's go. Failed in a minor way. Bugger. Bugger. What went wrong there? Log. It chopped uh, Gora with her knife, slashing her left arm. Left arm is not where the bloody... Bloody heart is. Good job. Medical emergency? Gora, you're fine now. You're fine, Gora. Don't worry. Don't worry about it. Oh, beans. Cave child into tea. It's the plan. I think we're going to have to wait for Gara to just heal over several days and then go for the heart. That's the logic we'll be working on. 
Get Vanilla Animals expanded. It adds corgis into the game. <gasps> Badger juice. What an incredible addition that would make. Oh, my goodness. Oh. And thank you very much to the 4,000 people who've liked the stream. My goodness. Oh, we're actually about just under 4,069. Now, that is always a lovely goal. Um, so I will I'll just gently gently float that, that trade deal out there. Okay. 4,069. You like the sound of that? We've got a sandbag made of sheep wool. I don't really know how good sheep wool is at stopping bullets. Okay. We missed 4,069 and we've gone straight to 4,200. Like, chat, like... You hit the 69, okay, and then you went over it. You went way beyond 69. <laughs> Thank you very much. But yeah, I'm not really sure how good sheep's wool is at stopping a, a bullet or a Molotov or a thermonuclear device when it is getting thrown at your direction. But apparently we're going to trust in the power of a sandbag. Um, so that's fine. Oh, my goodness. But how's it going? Is, is all the crop harvesting going good? We've got so much food in our storage that we are just fine for winter. Winter can come and we can just gently relax, really. Um, there's nothing stopping us. Quest available, Royal Ascent. What's this? Um, you've learned of the way to escape the planet. Uh, the high stellarch of the Shattered Empire will perform a customary visit with any count of his domain upon request. Invite him, satisfy his royal needs, and you may join uh, the Imperial Court life. Um, or escape to a new life among the stars. Earning the title of co count means uh, completing quests. Okay, so we could effectively... So this is just a quest that we can do forever, but basically once we become a count, we can leave the planet and win the game. Um, but we uh, we don't have a free bedroom, and we don't have uh, the title of count or countess, so we can't uh, look after the high stellarch of the Shattered Empire. Oh, well, that's good. 69 dislikes. Did we achieve that? Well done. Well done. Thank you, chat. I, that, I didn't want that, but that's fine. <laughs> guess at the end of the day, it's interactions. Oh, and I forgot we went past 420 as well. Oh, that was good. Well done, chat. How's the tea doing? We're getting really good progress on the tea, but it is kind of annoying that the animals are technically eating it. Um, Bus, you're miserable. What's got you so sad? Low expectations. Very impressive rec room. Nuzzled. Eight without a table, ratty apparel. You need to get... There's a table right there, goddammit. You have access to it. Actually, wait, do you? No, you don't have access. Do you have... No. Yes. Yes. Yes, you do. You 100% have access to that table, bus. You don't have to eat it on the floor. Having harvesting a royal extra special tea. No, if we invite the the king of the empire, okay, and then we harvest his organs, they're not going to be happy. What's this? Robert Gun Goodafar of Hanrin is requesting a favor. His friend James Lamp is interested in other con cultures, and I just have to host him for twenty three days. Twenty three days. That's a long time. Um, we can get some Luciferium. 115 uranium and a tough skin gland, which we could imply, uh, well, apply to someone. I mean, looking after someone for 23 days is a really long time. Like, that is basically into... We'd be getting into, like, a, yeah, we'd be in winter by the time he, by the time he left. Um, I don't know, chat. I'll leave it up to you. Do we accept this random dude? Tough skin gland is quite good. Yeah, you're right. Uranium is also fun. Uh, what, you're saying the target is now 69,000 likes? That is nigh impossible, given the fact that there are less than 6,900 people here. Uh, but sure, I believe in you, chat. I believe in you. All right, YouTube chat, are you going to have your baby sheep yet? Come on. We need these baby sheep uh, to feed food to, I guess. Um, also, I'd like more growing zones of potatoes. Uh, just more growing zones in general. And, Paolo, are you... Um, you do, yeah, you don't have any resistance anymore, so you can be enslaved. So um, we can wake Wusty up and get you to... Wusty, please can you enslave Paolo um, with a lovely human leather necklace. Paolo, welcome to the crew. Um, this is now your bed, Paolo, set owner. Paolo, dude. Welcome. Uh, Paolo actually will need a name now. Um, who's our next guy? Who have we got? Someone did a very generous donation not too long ago. It was Gris Gris Gris. So congratulations, you've uh, you've won the lot and you're in the game. 
um, G S R S E S G S. That's going to be fine to say in a short space of time. <laughs> uh, you're going to be restricted to area one. Um, but so you, yeah, you're still restricted to area one. Good. And of course, you are going to be able to do just about everything. But most importantly, we want you on um, plant cut. Lots of plant cut and lots of grow. Okay. And you can't clean. Oh, that's annoying. You're very good at art. Well, I'm afraid you're not going to be doing any of that. Make a nuke. We could... You want me to make an anti-gram warhead? Really? Slave escaping. Who? Bus. God damn it, jump to a cage. God damn it, bus. Door is unlocked. Why is this not locked? Lock the goddamn doors. Right, Wusty. Chase. Cooler guy. Also, Chase, please. Have you just given up? Yeah, you've just given up because we've we've locked the door. Okay. All right. Are you just back now? Are you just no longer going to... Yeah, you're just in time. Okay, so you, you did your escape attempt and then you... Nope, you're going again. You're going again. You're going for this, the escape attempt. God damn it. Lock these doors. Keep these doors locked. And... Was the... Chase them down, please. Arrest them. There we go. Bring them back. Naughty. Very naughty. Stop trying to escape. You're not allowed to escape. <sighs> Maybe we need more airlocks or something. What's this? Rare frumbos. Two rare frumbos walking through our land. Yeah, we're definitely not attacking those. Frumbos are an absolute nightmare to try and murder. Right, back to work you go. Right, so Gara, you're um you're probably not gonna be a prisoner. But Badger the Warrior here doesn't actually have that high resistance, so we can probably get that resistance down. Um in terms of actual biology, they're a good shot. And they're not terrible at plants, so that's what we'll do. YouTube chat has given birth. YouTube chat. Have we got baby sheep now? Have we got a lamb? Yes, we've got a lamb! YouTube chat, you've had a baby! Your baby will be named Bobbert. Bobbert the baby. Oh yes, I was meant to name something Bobbert, wasn't I? Bobbert, congratulations. You are... Bobbert... Uh, daughter... Oh, oh, I can't do... I can't do daughter of chat, but you are Bobbert. Bobbert the lamb. Bobbert, congratulations. Um, you... You exist simply as a source of wool. And beyond that, you are completely and utterly redundant. <laughs> but we love you nonetheless. Uh, right, let's get... Let's research microelectronics so we can get the orbital trade beacon. Oh my goodness, I can't believe that everyone's trying to escape though. Kill our child, make it into dinner for us. What, you want me to kill Bobbert for food? Kill Bobbert for food? My God. I mean, we could do it. There's no reason saying we couldn't. <laughs> There's absolutely no reason saying we couldn't. Right, we can mine this area out, actually. Let's let's get to mining that. We might as well. Eat Bobbit. Eat Bobbit. Yes, we're all parents. No, not Bobbit. Well, yes. Don't kill Bobbit. Yes. This is genuinely a d decisive split down the middle of do we eat your child? Okay. Bobbit has existed for 12 hours in the British Heart Foundation. Um... Add bill, euphanized by cut, neuter. Yeah, we phys technically, oh, we struck compacted steel, nice, good stuff. No, 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 please don't eat Bobbert, please don't eat Bobbert. Okay, no, we're not eating Bobbert. God, why is there's like a, a very vocal faction of the 20% of people watching who really, really, really want us to eat Bobbert. They're just absolutely excited for that just the chance of murdering Bobbert. They just love to see it. I build a geothermal power plant. Yeah, I can now, but the space is already occupied. Okay, let us um, deconstruct this entire wall because it's just it's redundant. We don't need it. Oh my goodness! <laughs> One cooler guy. You're not stabbing the sheep. I'm not having you murder him. Okay. 
Oh god. Thank you, Jacob Badhop, for your five dollars. Uh, Chief and Chief Zab. Um visitors have arrived. No guest beds. Um Send away. I'm sorry, we just don't have space for visitors. Eat Robert, do it, you won't. We're not eating Robert. We need to fatten him up, okay? <laughs> oh, thanks, Mr. Pump, for your donation. And Ink Boy as well. Ink Boy Ink Boy says crown Robert. I'm not really sure we can bestow royal titles to um to them. Is that more ambrosia has just sprouted up randomly? Okay. Right, that's um that's exciting. How's Bus doing? Bus, are you, are you better? Why are you so miserable? What's got you so upset? Well, how have we got your schedule running, Bus? Like, Bus, if we have you sleep in the daytime and work at the night time, that will sort out your schedule, right? And then we can have you do, I don't know, mandatory recreation here. You know, everyone can have a couple of mandatory recreation hours right here. Everyone's having fun. It's forced fun time. Look at that, perfect. Now Gurz Gurz is miserable. Why would you be miserable? You've got such a uncomfortable chemical want, dull barracks, darkness, hungry, drowsy. Eat some food, goddammit, you melon. <sighs> Why are you drowsy? Oh, you haven't slept. Just sleep. Are you some kind of potato? <sighs> well, well, one thing we're going to need to do is we're going to need to build a, a better barracks. Mm. Quest available, quiet turkeys. What is quiet turkeys? Um, she wants you to take care of two turkeys. I can gain royal favor and I can gain goodwill. Um, I think we gain royal favor, really. That'll help. Um, yeah, sure, let's get, let's gain royal favor. So we just have to look after two, two turkeys, right? Worsty, you're gaining additional royal favor. Um, unless, can we... Oh my god, we can actually make one of our slaves technically a, a lord. Anyway, the turkeys have arrived. Uh, view quest related turkeys. So we've got Gisela here, um, who we can actually rename. We can rename our two special turkeys. Turkeys of specialness, please remain in area one. Do not die, special turkeys. Right, area one, right. Stella the turkey. You are no longer Stella the turkey. You are now... Uh, you're now Mr. Pump. Mr. Pump the turkey. Mr. Pump the turkey and Giselle. I'm going to name after chat, goddammit. Chat. I'm going to read a name. We've got Ifaz, who wants war turkeys. Ifaz, we, we can't t turn these into war turkeys, but I can turn you into a turkey. So there we go. Our brand new turkeys, ladies and gentlemen. They are glorious. They really are. I realize we could also maybe, okay, maybe consider fighting the uh, the monstrosity that hides inside of here. Um, like if we did some kind of barricades, uh, it provide good cover. Um, so I mean, yeah, if we could, we could probably build up some like additional barricades all around here and maybe break into this area. It's my guess, like if we set up multiple layers of barricades, um, which we could hide behind. Oh, and Sylvester's given birth as well. We've got another lamb. Oh, another lamb. Oh, this is adorable. Lamb, you are going to be named um, Chief Zab. Chief Zab the lamb. Welcome, Chief Zab. Badger, how's your prisoner status going? 19.3 resistance, so we're making good progress on with you. Grisk, you're still really miserable. What's got you so upset? Disturbed sleep, soaking wet, slept in the cold. Is it cold in there? It's, I mean, we can make it warm as well. Did you sleep in the cold? Yeah, you did. Okay, so I guess you guys don't like 20 degrees as an int. I love sleeping at 21 degrees. 21 degrees Celsius is lovely. Don't know what everyone's problem is. Oh. Find a boar and send Bobbit after it with an awful spear. We can't send... Bobbit is a sheep. A, a lamb as well. Bobbit cannot fight. In terms of training, they have none. They just need food and rest. That is all Bobbit does. When Bobbit grows up and is more than two days old, Bobbit 
can give us wool, but that is it. Otherwise, Bobbit has no <laughs> no other abilities. Um, oh my goodness! All right, Grosks, are you feeling better? No, not really. You're still really upset. That's a real shame. I really tried my best. We even have a somewhat impressive prison over here. Okay, so maybe if I deconstruct this and add more to this barracks, make it larger, like so, that'll look better. Yeah, that's the hope. Let's um, yeah, let's build that and then deconstruct this. Make YouTube chat eat Bobbit. What you want? You want me to kill Bobbit and then have YouTube chat eat its own child? Chat, that is like, there are human rights violations and then there are animal rights violations and that is just not even on a, a marketable graph of what is anywhere remotely legal to do. Oh my god, the sheep are eating all the goddamn tea plants. The tea plants are also just about ready to grow as well. Like some of them are 91% grown. No, don't eat the tea plants! Right, we're harvesting them. We have to. Because otherwise the animals are just going to eat them all. Harvest the tea plants. We just can't have the animals eat them all. It's just not not good. All right, there we go. Harvest all the... Oh, cancel that. Harvest. Good. And now we've got a whole bunch of Yorkshire tea as well. What does Yorkshire tea do? Uh, it's food, um, and it provides 20% recreation. Nice. Um, okay, so it's, it's food which makes people happy, is what it does. So people can be made happy from drinking it. Make YouTube chat eat. Why do you just want me? Why do you want? Oh my god. <laughs> you just really want me to feed feed YouTube chat Bobbit, don't you? We can't do it. I'm not doing it. I'm not feeding YouTube chat Bobbit. It is illegal. It is highly immoral as well. My god, chat, you are so divided over this. <laughs> uh, I don't think we're going to do the Desert Rat quest either. That doesn't look particularly easy to do. Sheep ate tea. That's not acceptable. Wait, are the sheep eating the tea? The sheep are definitely not allowed to eat the tea. Yeah, that's a that's a no-no thing. Right, Steve Jones is currently playing chess with Autumn. Good. That should make you happy. That should make you very happy. What is immorality? Exactly. Exactly. Send the turtle into war swift. Now we can actually send the battle turtle in. Um, is the turtle trained for war? The turtle is halfway to being trained for war. Their master is Wusty, so Wusty can theoretically draft the turtle to battle. Um, don't know why we do that, but it, it can be done. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, we've got a nice big space here, actually. We could turn this into maybe a... Um, we could turn this, if we go via structure, into maybe like a recreation area. So we make this all wood. Um, give it a nice wooden door. This looks like a, a very nice rec area. Oh, nope, send away guests. We don't want guests. There we go. Give it a nice big wooden floor. And then we can give it all of the proper necessary stuff. So we can give it... Um, I want an actual big table here. Okay. I want all of this rubbish. Um, yeah, I want this stuff hauled um, as well. There we go. Let's do architect orders, haul things. There we go. Get rid of it all. Uh, we're probably going to need a larger dumping stockpile, won't we? Yep. Bigger dumping stockpile. That's fine. That's easy. <laughs> Kieran Kurt says, I'd rather die in battle. Spiff, do it. Right. We'll train you to fight in battle. Um... Prioritize training. Okay, train up the turtle. Because if we can train the turtle... Um, train. Good. Go. Come on, train. Yes, give it some potatoes. Train it. Yes, it's trained. So, now... Uh, no animals available. Why are there no animals available? Training. Oh, follow Master War drafted. Follow Master War doing field work. There we go. So, now we have a releasable battle turtle. 
or tortoise. It's tortoise, isn't it? Yeah, it's a tortoise. <laughs> but it's a 61-year-old battle tortoise of the British Heart Foundation. Okay, I'm just saying we can fight now. We have the ability to. <laughs> oh my goodness, this is brilliant. Guinea pig self-tamed. We've got a guinea pig. Okay, let's give it a name. Guinea pig one. What can guinea pigs even do? Guinea pigs only exist to eat food. Um, right, chat. Uh, this is going to be Bobbit. Bobbit 2. Okay. Bobbit 2, the guinea pig. Bonded to no one. Slaughter. Okay. Steve Jones. Priority. Oh, you're not assigned to handling. Worsty. Kill Bobbit 2. And then... Now, hopefully, YouTube chat will wander over here and eat Bobbit too. Um, I'm not really sure. Can we? Can I get YouTube chat and specifically assign them to manage area? Okay, new area. Uh, this is going to be area two, and area two is going to consist of um, just just the dead guinea pig. Okay, YouTube chat. So, go eat Bobbit too. <clears throat> Are you hungry? Are you hungry, YouTube chat? No. Okay. It's going to be a while, but Bob at two will be eaten. <laughs> God damn it, the things I do. Uh, let's get some uh, proper furniture built in this uh, area as well. Chairs all around. And then recreation wise, we can have a. a, a what can we have? We can have a. Wooden poker table, a, yeah, let's have a wooden poker table. Oh, we need cloth for that. Okay, so we can't have that. Let's have a, uh, let's have a wooden chess table. We can have some horseshoe pins out here as well. It's going to just be the fun zone. Oh, God, psychic drone for all women. That's not good. They're going to hate that. You have so many animals, too many animals. Not saying eat Bob, but I'm just saying... Yes, okay. I get I get it. I get it. YouTube chat, are you hungry yet? You're getting close to being hungry. Okay. We're reaching the point where YouTube chat will consider eating Bob at two. Um, this is Bob at two. Oh, it's a cold snap. Oh, that's not good. That's going to be chilly. Right, let's get some uh, heaters set up. So temperature, we're going to need heaters in here. And we're going to need heaters in... Let's put them in the prison, and then a heater in here will be needed, and a heater also in here. Perfect. Right, we can uh, probably up you by like, I don't know, what is a good good goal? 21 degrees is a good goal, fine, yeah, we'll aim for that. Right, YouTube chat, eat. No, that's grass, that's grass you're eating, that's not a dead guinea pig. God damn it, eat the dead guinea pig. Right, I'm afraid... It's going to take a long time for YouTube chat to consider eating Bob at 2. Bob at 2 died to a cut to the neck. Rest in peace. <laughs> what, a, what a death it was. Sheep can't and won't eat meat in this game, by the way. You're telling me no matter what, Bob at will never eat... No, YouTube chat will never eat Bob at. You're telling me Bob at 2 died for nothing. Oh my god. Right. Worsty, eat bloody Bobbit too. Eat, eat Bobbit too. Sit down, stuff that guinea pig down your mouth, and just eat the goddamn guinea pig. <laughs> Otherwise, this guinea pig died for no reason. Okay, Worsty, I know it's not nice to eat a guinea pig, but just do it. Do it. Oh, there we go, tasty. Oh, what's that? There's some more, more guinea pig left. Okay, bus, come over here, eat some. Eat some guinea pig. Worsty, how do you feel after eating guinea pig? Minus 12, eight corks. Well, that's fine. You've just got to suck it up sometimes. Burst, eat that guinea pig. There we go. Lovely. You really enjoyed that. Although you are now about to have a massive break. Um. <laughs> oh, God. Plus 31 human rights violations of that one. Eat Bob at one as well. We're not eating Bob at one. Bob at one did nothing wrong. He's a good person, Bob. At wrong one, okay. He does. He doesn't deserve what you what you're trying to do to him. Oh, a solar flare. Oh, that shut down all electronics. Now it's going to get real cold. 
Mm. Major break risk. Cooler guy. Cooler guy. What's wrong? Chemical starvation. You want drugs. Just, I don't know. No, don't do drugs. Stop it. Go, go lie down or something. <sighs> oh my god. All right. You know what, chat? You know what? I think. Hmm. The psychic drone has ended. I have a plan. I have a plan. Let's drop down a save first. So let's save this game. British Heart Foundation. And we're going to select everyone. Um, are you guys near recruiting? You're probably not. No, you're way off and you're quite far off. Okay. All right, so we're going to need to select everyone. Um, no, we're going to need to select everyone. There we go. So that is everyone. We're going to draft everyone, including the... Um, Including the prisoners, actually. We're going to draft them. So, Bus, even though you're probably not the best fighter, congratulations, uh, you now earned yourself... What are you good with? Uh, a club. Equip that limestone club. Uh, it's 8.4%, so it's probably going to break as you swing it, but that's fine. Actually, no, you should probably equip the steel knife instead. Equip that steel knife. That's way better. Okay, now come out here. And Gurz Gurz, you as well. You're okay with... No, you're terrible at shooting, actually. Right, just equip the revolver. I don't care. We've got it. Okay, so we are arming our slaves, technically. But this is a necessary thing, because we're about to... We're about to go... To, we're, about, we're about to go test something, ladies and gentlemen. We're about to go... Oh, they can't go here. Okay, right, we need to... Um, unrestricted and unrestricted. Temporarily, you guys can now all go over here. Oh, and actually, I realise this is locked. Um, go fix that lock. There we go. So you can now come through, and so can you, bus. Perfect. And call a guy. I need you. I need you drafted, my dude. Come back. Come back, call a guy. All right. We're gonna go open up the slab. We're gonna go open up the slab and see what's inside. So let's get everyone over here. Um, now, Greg, uh, bus sixty-two. Um, I hereby nominate you to be the uh, the excited person who gets to uh, deconstruct this bit of slate so um not assigned to constructing god damn it can you even construct yes you can right bus deconstruct knock down that wall there's something wrong here but it's okay Worsty, you're gonna have your animal set to release go on bus knock through knock through knock through what do we got what do we got oh it's it's insects it's insects. What do we got in here? We've got a nuclear bomb! It's insects protecting cryosleep caskets. Inside, there's a psychic insanity lance, a psychic soothe pulser, advanced components. Bus, get out of there. Get out of there, bus. Right, we've got him. Kieran Curtis, you're going into battle, my friend. Yeah, let's get these insects. Go on, battle tortoise away. Go, battle tortoise, go! And bus, don't run away. Draft. you got, you got to stay and fight. Stay and fight. Melee. Go on, Kieran Curtis, you've done it. You're doing good. You have been shot in the back by your allies, but go, Kieran Curtis, die in battle. You've just been shot in the back of the head. Um, Bus, I'm, I'm noticing you're not charging into valiantly sacrifice yourself. Um, uh, Gers, Gers, I'm going to need you to do the same. Step forwards and take the hit. Call the guy, step back. Okay, now call the guy. You can, you can step in there and fight. Good job, we've done it. Good job. Get the fighting in. Good job, guys. Really doing good. Yeah, we've stunned them. Oh, yeah. Uh, is that Mega, Mega Spider is still up and running? Oh, we've done it. We've actually done it. Oh, my God. Undraft. Undraft, you're back. You go back, guys. Well done. Well done, um, Griggs and Bus. Truly amazing. Um, although you are about to probably break down um right can someone please rescue the tortoise there is no safe bed temperature oh my god is this not say oh there is no there's just no free dog bed okay i see what it is all right let's get an animal sleeping spot in here get some animal sleeping spots in here and someone please rescue the goddamn tortoise gurus rescue the tortoise uh who should we have? Who have we got lying around that's still good? Worcester, you need to eat food. 
Okay, everyone needs to eat some food, and then we can have them. Uh, then we can have them probably go back and try and open up one of these sarcophaguses. Um, right, Groot is just moving so slow; it's insane. Um, yeah, let's have him open up. Let's have Wusty open up one of these cryosleep uh, caskets. Bus has gone catatonic. That's fine. What do we got in here? Oh, they're they're all people. They're all ancient soldiers. Um, there's a chain shotgun. They're all wearing pretty incredible armor. They they have a. It's Chris here who's dead. Who's wearing some pretty fancy armor. What's this? Marine armor. I like that. You're wearing marine armor, recon armor, and Gizmo here is dying. So let's we can capture Gizmo. Where are the rest of you going? You're just going to walk off the map. Yeah, okay, right, that's fine. Oh, but this has been brilliant, guys. I don't know about you, but what a fantastic stream. I'm afraid I've got to go now because I've got to get um, set up for a Twitch pub quiz later this evening. But I've really enjoyed spending my uh, like part of my birthday with you, chat. Seriously, it's been, um, been really, really good fun. Thank you uh, very much for watching all. Uh, you, we, we can capture them, don't worry. We, we can make them into tea. That's what we're going to do. But that's all going to have to wait for the next stream because I've had a really nice time, but I'm afraid I've got to get on with some work. Um, so thank you very much um, for watching. Um, it has been an absolute pleasure having you with us. Uh, thank you very much for everyone who gave the stream a like. Just under 5,000 likes as well. That's insane for a stream. Everyone who donated as well, you are absolutely wonderful. Um, Kieran Curtis, cooler guy as well. Um, Ink Boy, Chief Sab. I mean, I can't even name everyone who donated. There were so many of you. So thank you very much. Um, have a lovely evening, everyone. Um, and stay safe. Have a... Yeah, like... You know, just play it safe. It's a funky time in the world right now. So just have a lovely day. And go celebrate my birthday. I don't know. You don't have to. But just have a nice cup of tea or something. You've deserved it. You've watched and sat through all of this. So thank you very much. Um, if you want to see me later, I'll be on the Hat Films Twitch channel. Um, doing some pub quizzing. So yeah, I'll see you guys around. Have a nice day. And goodbye for now, my friends. Bye-bye. <laughs>